scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Oh Lord, I want to know your glory. I want to know. Let her go now. Out. As I pray for you, go back to your seat and check yourself. God is healing you. Out. Now. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed now. By the power of this kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You wicked spirit, let her go never to return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the authority of the kingdom. Be free now. You wicked spirit, let her go. Now, I challenge you. I see you in the spirit and I command you to go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will remain a threat to Satan as long as God grants us that privilege. We will never allow him find expression in the lives of the people. Listen, miracle services are not the only services where God touches people. Any service is a miracle service. Are you getting my point? It's just for organization. That's why you see us do the things that we do. We just set aside one week. But that does not mean God can flow any day, any time, change what he needs to change. Even if it is for the sake of one person, God can interrupt a service and say somebody came hungry. We are not religious people to just say it must go this way. Hallelujah. It must go God's way. If God wants us to begin to pray for the sick and speak into the life of people, that's what we are going to do. Hallelujah. 
you came praying and let me tell you god had your prayer and he will only respond according to your prayer not according to a church program if there is someone who the spirit of death is upon for instance god is not going to allow that happen just because we need to teach a series and allow somebody go back and die god is too loving he can interrupt the bible says when he as he thought the power of god was present to heal hallelujah so when you important very very important there's is it a gentleman or a lady that came you sent me a text you're coming from somewhere else not zaria who's the person come quickly from where my dear abuja the lord will visit you come believe things will so change in your life from this night it will surprise you prophecy is not just about calling names and numbers it makes sense it doesn't make sense if it does not come to pass the beauty of prophecy is result not flamboyancy are you getting me I can quote everything and tell you this will happen and it doesn't happen. That's nonsense. You just clap for film show. The power of prophecy is the force that makes it happen. Are you getting my... Let this wicked spirit leave this girl now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lot of oppression. Not even just you, your family. Your family. Is that true? This is even one of the reasons why you came. Where's your mother? In Oka now. She'll be in Oka. We have to pray. We have to pray for you. Huh? We have to pray so that the devil will not start they will not start telling you so and so is happening to your stomach. We need to pray. Are you married? You want to get married? Why are you afraid? Was that not part of your request? God is going to visit you. It doesn't matter what your request is here. We are not as what if it's marriage, say marriage, don't sit down. Well, look, let me tell you, this is like a factory. Are you getting my point? This is not a lecture hall, this is where God dethrones principalities and powers over people's lives. Money enters your hand, but it leaves, and this is your family, they suffer the same thing. True, it's to be very rich, but things scatter, yes. It's the same pattern now with us, the grandchildren. We need to pray, all right? And we are going to break that nonsense right here, right now. You believe it? I know that you are coming from Abuja. You met a lot of people, right? Honestly, I tell you, God is in this place, my dear. God is in this place. We say it with all humility. He's not just here, but His authority and His presence is in this place. Jesus, we lift up Your name, and we break everything that is not of God. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will rise up, you will return, and you will encounter the power of God in unusual ways. Every life siege over your life is broken, and we open a new chapter. Everything that is not of God, we take it behind you, and we declare that before you becomes like a garden of Eden. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you. Hallelujah. Be seated. God bless you. Greet one another. God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Good evening, everybody. Did you greet yourselves? Please go ahead. Greet someone who is not you. Hallelujah. Two of you had dreams. Um, you saw someone you know chasing you very seriously and you were running. Please, two of those people. See, when God begins to interrupt me like this, can we just flow? Is that okay? Mm. Just play what you play, Mike. You can put it on dual now. Please, those two people. 
I don't know who you are. You saw someone pursuing you in your dream. This is very serious. This is not. You know them. There's one more person. Sometimes I wish we have all the time to minister to people one by one. Maybe one day we'll, we'll make the vigil. We'll service a night vigil. Would that be fine? Honestly. So we'll take time. It kills my spirit when I see that the, the time is limited. This is why we rush people like this so that we can come up. Because the truth is, there are many people who have issues and you know it's that if God locates you, that will truly be the end of it. It's just that time. Are you getting my point? Time. Time is a big factor. Time is a very big factor. Time is a big factor. Come, this lady, the one chewing your hand, you stand up, come quickly, quickly. I see an angel of the Lord standing close to you and I'm wondering why he's standing close to you. You are going to be a woman of God, a very powerful woman of God. You will walk in the prophetic very, very powerfully. You will walk in the prophetic. People have not seen anything about you. You will rise in a very powerful way. And God is going to give you unusual unction. Father, let your word come through in her life. Give her unction. In the name of Jesus Christ, go. Turn not struggle. From today, we pray that you will experience the hand of God in very dramatic ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Come. Your entire family needs deliverance. Huh? It's not just you. There's a cause of delay in your family. You may not believe. Listen, it is because Jesus is victorious that we can even identify things like this and address it. Are you getting my point? We have to pray. Hmm? If not, you are going to struggle. Are you a student? We need to pray. Huh? If not, you will struggle, not just academically, but everything. I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Let him be free. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone and he's tying something like a bead. And this is what I see. The Lord setting the person free. Even in your family. Lord set him free in the name of Jesus Christ. Please come brother. If I don't pray for you. The devil is going to afflict you with sickness. Very serious sickness. You believe that? Are you sick? I need to pray for you because it's going to be something um, it's going to start like ulcer but it's going to get very serious hmm? and we must rebuke it once you and that God wants your heart totally hallelujah let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus just lay your hands on your chest set him free by the mighty hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah usher Madam, come. It's you I need to pray for, not the person you are standing behind. There is a lot going on in your family. There is hardship. Hardship. Because the Lord is showing me a vision. And I'm seeing like somebody is farming on a land. Farming on, on rocky ground. And nothing is burning. We must pray. You believe that? We have to pray. You people have suffered too much in your work. Nothing is working. As you are standing like this, absolutely not that true nothing from everybody nothing is working even you you are struggling and this is a very very demonic thing you're a worker in this house and you're supposed to experience the hand of god father we love our workers why should they go through this satan i adjure you let her go now she's a worker in this house and she should be an epistle of the vision so that it will not look like we are faking this thing. My God, I pray that she will be free right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Out of her now. That wicked spirit. Let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go now. I lay my hands and by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let her family go. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I release her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are living never to regain whatever gives you legal access by the blood. We command that she is free. Let the doors be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Doors of increase, doors of plenty, power by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Come, let me pray for you. If you are the only one who is prospering and your family members are not experiencing it, you will not be happy. Do you understand? It should extend. We believe in family salvation here that whatever is happening to you should happen to your loved ones. How many of you believe that? Praise the Lord. No matter how prosperous you are, if your family members are not getting blessed, your joy will not be complete. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let God visit your phonic thing, this demonic thing in your family. I curse it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Please, let's hurry up so we can do this. Let me pray for you. I'm looking at a young lady. I'm seeing an old woman. What is all this? Where are you from? Eh? Enugu. I'm seeing a very old woman. As I'm looking at you, it's not your face that I'm seeing. I'm seeing another person's face and it's an old woman. And if we don't deal with this, it will stop you from getting married. You will be wondering, a very pretty lady moving around. Why? Why? You know, all these kind of things. Hmm? We're going to pray. The devil is a liar. Jesus is Lord. Hmm? Hold my hands and let me pray for you. It's not your fault that you were born in your family, but it's your fault if you remain in that trouble. You must do something about it. Are you getting my point? Many of us keep blaming our parents and all of that. It may not be their fault. They did the best that they know how to do. But now that you know the truth, you must contend for change. Are you getting me? Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this lady be free from everything that is not of God. I set by the now, by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why did she come out? Why did I do? Let me pray for you. The spirit of death. This is death. This is not even sickness. There are families that people keep dying, dying, and they meet a pastor and he says, all right, this is the last one that will happen. Then another one happens and he says, don't worry. Just give thanks in all things. You must deal with it. Once you see fire on the mountain, there's a saying in my language that if you see your neighbor's beard catching fire, don't wait till it catches your own. Find water quickly and soak your own. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. There are things I'll tell you, but I can't tell you here, right? But your relationship with God is very important. It's not just about receiving a miracle from God. But he must have your everything. Hallelujah. You, does it make sense to you what I'm saying? It makes a lot of sense, right? Mm. Father, please visit this lady and visit her family. I separate you from every evil and every wickedness of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ, let these attacks of darkness stop. In Jesus' name. Brother. Well done, let me pray for you. You need revelation. Look at me. This is what you are lacking grossly in your life. You have desire. But desire is not enough in the kingdom. You need revelation. Hallelujah. Are you getting it? This is what you need at this phase. So you must contend for light and revelation. Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I impart upon you the spirit of revelation. Let it come upon you and let it be mighty. You will understand the truths of God's word and may God use you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Who is Janet? Janet. Janet. Ah. Lord, allow us to teach tonight. Oh. Janet. Who is Janet, please? I'm hearing a name, Janet. Janet. You are Janet? Okay. Your mom. The 
man should not have a woman's name. Oh, your mother's. Okay. Janet. I'm seeing Janet. Kai, no. There is Janet in this place. Are you Janet? There is. Is it? I hope the person is here. This is how people miss out on their miracles. Janet. Janet. I will pray for you because you have come out, but I'm hearing it in my spirit. Janet. When God refuses, I refuse to because it means that there's something that he wants. The Lord is showing me a lady. Your elder sister was to get married. They, did, they even did introduction. And then something happened and they cancelled it. It was a very disappointing experience. Who is that? Please. They even did introduction. The guy came, saw your people. He started doing corner corner and everything just backfired. Please come quickly. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Hold on. There's someone you are writing jam tomorrow, but you've been having dreams seeing yourself in like a primary school or a school. Band. Who is that person? You are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, it's going to be failure. You are going to fail the jam. Run, you are wearing blue. You are a lady. You are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, you will fail the jam. Who, are you the one? You come. You are great. The devil wants you to fail this jam. And if we don't pray again, this one is not lack of studies. Are you getting my point? This is not lack of studies. You are writing jam too. I will pray for jam people. Don't worry. Jam will pray for you. The devil is in trouble tomorrow. You, but you come, let me pray for you since the word is for you. Look at me. We have to destroy this thing. Huh? What dream did you have? I see myself failing. You see yourself failing again and again. Huh? Don't worry. The Lord is going to visit you. You believe that? Did you read? Mm. Let the angel of God's presence help you. Because this jam sometimes is just the help of God. It's not any long story. You just need God to help you. Regardless of whether you understand what you are shading or not. For the sake of his kingdom. Sometimes you just need to say help. Oh Lord. Help. As simple as that. Praise God. I know some of you are laughing. You think it's a joking matter. That's how God helped some of you. you when you saw your result. Even you. You knew that this was prophecy. It's not any... The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. God is working on your blood. This is not even the issue of jam again. God is changing your genotype. Hmm? Is that true? What's your genotype? AA. A -A. Your genotype is AA. I'm seeing God changing your genotype. It's not AA. You think it's AA. It's AS. God is changing it to AA. You fall sick. You fall sick consistently. It's not AA. Your genotype is AS. I'm seeing AS and an arrow is drawing to AA. This is what God is changing. You believe that? Because even you, you are surprised why you fall sick. Your bones pain you now. Serious, just like a sick lad. It's just that they've not told you you are SS because this is demonic. Hallelujah. Father, let her pass her jam and change her genotype. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just wait here. I think I'll just pray for jam people generally before we just start the message. Hallelujah. Disappointments for your sisters. Why are you crying? Please, my dear. It's okay. See, no matter what the issue is, I want you to believe that the Lord of heaven is in this place. When God locates you, he will solve your problem. Are you getting what I'm saying? And listen. Once God has located one person, you don't need to wait until they call you. Are you getting my point? This is how to tap into prophecy. When God locates one person, you can sit where you are and say, Lord, I receive. Are you getting what I'm saying? Even if it's not for your sister, you can challenge yourself. So you must position yourself to receive. Let me pray for you. Father, what, why are you crying? Look at me. Why exactly are you crying? Let me just ask you. Your auntie, where is she? Come. I'm so touched. Why is she crying like this? 
please, um, it's okay. Hmm? Let's not get, I can be emotional. I won't cry, but <laughs> I don't know why. I, I don't cry, this crying thing. I only cry when I'm worshiping God. But every other thing, I don't know why. People are crying and sometimes I'm saying, let these people not think I'm so hardened. I'm trying, but the tears. So... <laughs> I just found out that the best way to respond to my emotion is to solve the problems that cause it. Praise God. Jesus Christ is going to. Where's your auntie? She's at home. Where's home? Silver. She's just in silver close by. Why didn't she come? Invite her for miracle service. Will she come? She doesn't come to her problem. But let's pray for her. Father, please visit her auntie. In the name of Jesus. Let that spirit leave your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that family leave. Please, immediately I finish praying for them. If you are writing jam, come out. Let me just pray for you once. So that we can. Am I boring you tonight? God is just flowing and I, I have a very powerful teaching but I think God just wants to some of you have been praying and we've had the word but God needs to locate some people this night please just let it happen let's just let God flow that way why are you coming out what's happening hold on hold on what's going on jam okay just stand where you are you don't need to go back let me just pray for these people hallelujah All we want is you take over, take over till we are consumed by nothing, nothing else but you. Lord, visit our family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this plague of witchcraft be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your sister was disappointed. Oh, who? Yes, sir. Sure. What happened? I did the introduction, did everything. They did. There's a reason why I'm asking. God asked me to ask you. That's why. If not, I will just pray for you. They did the introduction, they did everything, and the relationship just ended like that. The guy ran away. What happened? I pray for you in this place in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ladies, may no man just come into your life, play games with you, make you to involve your parents and then for whatever reason, go away. I separate you from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That anyone that has planned from day one that he's just coming to play around with your life, may my God keep them far from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of these things may not even be that the guy is a bad guy. It's these demonic things that we deal with sometimes. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'll pray for you. Jesus, you brought her out. Help her. Be free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. You too. Let me just pray for you very fast. I hope this is not what I'm going to do all through this night. Some of you are already praying. You are saying, God, it won't stop. Oh, he's already close to my... <laughs> Look, and let me tell you something. Truly, let me tell you something about the power of prophecy. You know, the Bible says that upon the throne, there were seven eyes. And close to the eyes were thrones. That means anything you see, there is authority to conquer it. Seven eyes and seven horns. Once the eye of the Lord can locate your situation, there is authority to conquer it. Are you getting my point? But then it doesn't just mean that if your case is not mentioned, you must force yourself and say, no, you can receive because the word of God is also prophetic. Hallelujah. Your sister too, or your auntie, or you. Huh? Who? Who? Have mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. I wish there was special time. I had time to counsel because some of these things I can't say them openly, but look at me. 
there are certain things you think are disadvantages but they are the mercy and the deliverance of God that's just what I will tell you do you understand parables father have mercy on this lady and bless her in Jesus name don't call everything evil you need the eye of the spirit to know because some of you what you call disappointment would have been the best gift of God to you it's just that it's the future that will make you appreciate it that's why the Bible says in everything give thanks hallelujah father thank you let there be breakthrough in this family in the name of Jesus where are your people because your family needs the hand of God hmm? this is not just the issue of prayer for one person father please help this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ this evil must stop leave the family now let the family go Jesus Christ father we pray for the sister visit her let her marriage be successful in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus Christ the Lord is lifting the yoke over your family and the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that the morning comes for your family your family has suffered a lot tell them the morning comes in the name of Jesus Christ My brother look at me where are you from Kaduna you are from Makodi there is a lot of witchcraft in your family but father I pray tonight that this thing will end in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be free be free be free hallelujah jam jam I'm very serious please don't come here joking come here with every sense of seriousness as if you're already writing the exam jam come out it will take the power of God for some of you all of you who are sitting, stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Let's pray in tongues all over this place. We need miracles. Jam, we have to break this thing right now. I'm angry in my spirit because many of these people are intelligent. They are blessed. They are not dull. Let me tell you, they are not dull. This is just the hand of Satan. Jam, if there's no space, just stand where you are and begin to pray in tongues. Father, we need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. They are believers. They love the Lord. We need your mercy tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. I started praying for jam people from Monday. The number of people who came for counseling just to be prayed for for jam. I, it troubled my spirit and I said, Lord, why are people failing jam like this? Is it because all of, I know some of you didn't read, you are just been playing around. But there are people who have been serious. And almost all the people I prayed for for jam, I had to cast out devils from them. And then it, it dawned on me that there are some people who are suffering innocently. Hallelujah. And we need to pray this night. Because some of you, the truth is, the way you are standing now, you are not even ready for the jam. Let's just tell the truth and shame the devil. So, the mercy of God can take you 
through where you would not even be able to do you believe in the mercy of god because that's the only prayer i want to pray for you now the mercy of god is not just for sinners hallelujah some of you this is a destiny issue for you because you've written jam four times five times six graduated you are still graduated you are still graduated you are still there we need to take it seriously hallelujah and to pray so i'm going to pray for you lift your hands if it's a demonic thing that devil must go hallelujah thank you jesus christ father this is what you have made this house become a place of breakthrough and in the name of jesus i pray listen lift your hands all of you i'll first rebuke the power that is responsible for stopping some of you as i pray you will know that for some of you it's demonic forces that have been stopping you jesus will lift up your name jesus will lift up your name jesus we lift up your name jesus we lift up now i'm going to pray in the name of the lord jesus christ every force of darkness tying anyone's academics here by the power of the lord resident in this house i command those devils of darkness release god's people now 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 by the power of the holy ghost every act of divination every spirit that wants to make you fail jam in the name of jesus i cause it i cause it out of them now out of them now out of them now for those of you standing for your loved ones i command that power to leave you that power that makes you stand in the exam hall and you blank out until you fail i challenge it right now by the fire of the holy ghost hallelujah lord jesus i pray may the angel of the lord that came to give daniel understanding may that angel of the lord go with you as you write your job in the name of jesus christ i release angels now i release angels from the throne of mercy may they go with you as you shed may they go with you i release angels in the name of jesus i release angels as you write where you do not know may they still guide you in the name of jesus where your strength fails may the strength of elohim take you through in the name of jesus christ your resort will not be withheld in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of fear in this place, fear of repetition of what happened last year, I command that spirit of fear. Go, 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 go. I cause fear. Go, go, out now. Go, let boldness come upon you. Let boldness every devil that says you cannot do it fear out of them out of them for god has not given us the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind fear is banished from your life let the heart of a lion be given to you you will go and you will succeed you will go and you will prosper you will go and you will excel I command this devil I see a spirit in this lady is already positioned to destroy her tomorrow I command out out now out now she must pass the job I command you to leave in the name of Jesus out 
now in the name of Jesus Jesus we lift up your name bring her hallelujah let me tell you there are some of you if not for this night's prayer you would still fail the jam again and you have to wait another year but there is the power of prophecy many of you don't know the power of prophecy it comes see listen listen you can see what is happening right now all these people have been suffering whereas they are preparing the kingdom of darkness is also preparing be free to excel in the name of the lord jesus christ out of her now you are a wicked spirit i know this lady personally and i know how much she has struggled i know how much she studies i had to pay for her lesson personally to make sure that she makes it now she's going to write jam tomorrow this lady is very diligent and hardworking. listen see let me tell you something before you start accusing people when you don't understand what is happening in their life keep quiet are you listening to me because there are people who need the grace of god i know that there are people who are violating principles but where they have tried and done their best and nothing is working that's when god steps in hallelujah all of you who are writing jam say in the name of jesus or if you are standing in for someone i receive courage I receive wisdom I receive an anointing to excel tomorrow I go with the backing of heaven I write my jump with the backing of heaven I refuse to fear I will excel in the name of Jesus father I pray for your people may they meet above their cutoff point by far in the name of Jesus you will not only pass the jam it will give you admission I prophesy it if I be a servant of God there are others you wrote it and passed jam but you didn't get admission with it not only will you write the jam may my God give you admission where men sit down and meet to frustrate you may the hand that the person that hand that can change seasons may it change your results for good in the name of jesus christ and i announce to every power you have no right over god's people i put a wall of fire over their lives as they write jam you will write it under an open heavens in the name of jesus christ you will write it under an open heavens god bless you please go back rejoicing thank you jesus christ ah my spirit is already charged goodness my spirit is boiling with anger right now all those who are trusting God for jobs come out and stand here a broche kete teba, rekete rekepa, raposko pari kete, lente posko pati kata, ele kete posko si baba baba. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. I tell you my spirit is fired up tonight i don't know what kind of anointing came upon me this stage but i'm angry in my spirit tonight the bible says 
believe in the Lord and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Look at the number of people trusting God for jobs. There's got to be a way of helping God's people. Are you getting my point? There, there has to be a spiritual way of helping God's people. Let me tell you something. If we cannot help God's people, there is no reason why we should get people born again to leave the traditional thing they are doing and come into Christianity. Are you getting my point? We have no right to stop somebody from, to insult somebody who is going to a shrine if you come for a meeting like koinonia and god cannot help you i came i prepared a nice message to come and teach but my spirit is fired up because you see this is the real problem that is bringing many of us and if we don't resolve this thing you can keep hearing the word but the truth is you will celebrate testimonies but when it happens in your life there's no other message that is stronger than that hallelujah please lift your hands we need to dethrone some wicked spirits in this place please follow me instrumentalist hallelujah we're going to pray the bible talks of these four horns that have lifted up themselves against judah some of you graduated with excellent results you have served but your result is like a piece of paper we need to break that power let me tell you it is not by power i taught it in the message give me this mountain there is a lot more there is a lot more please lift your hands there are two things i'm going to do i'm going to rebuke this spirit for many of you there are horns in your families that have said nobody will rise you've gone to school but it's as if you are still in primary school even if you are outside no problem just hang on there with faith god is doing a very prophetic thing tonight i'm about to rebuke these powers and as i take authority over them the fire of god is going to move across these people standing in a very strong way and we are going to break the hand of the devil you will see a release of miracle jobs that will surprise you my god i thank you i give you all the praise in the name of jesus lift your hands father i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit at the count of three let every devil and every enchantment every act of divination responsible for joblessness my god at the count of three may your fire move through and tear down altars right now one two three touch now 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 i cause powers i cause powers i cause powers shake it help them ushers i cause powers in the name of jesus i set them on fire let the fire of god move across everywhere and every spirit that is responsible for joblessness in the name that is above all names we set it on fire now we set it on fire now hallelujah years ago i had a story there was someone who wanted to go to NDA and there is a certain height that they take and the person was too short so they told the person we cannot take you so the news got to the emir when the news got to the emir he sent the guy with a message he said go and tell the people that the emir has added his height and they took him did you hear that word he said go and tell them that the emir added the height of the short person we are going to pray i don't want to know what the deficiency is are you getting my point 
in the name that is a please believe please believe see some of you are already used to intellect so much you don't know the power of the spiritual otherwise you will struggle forever and you will find out that things are not changing because some of you are standing for your loved ones they have been praying praying in the name of jesus i command doors of miracle jobs right now i command doors of miracle jobs right now everywhere you have dropped your cv i move the angels of the lord to begin to bring wherever they have hidden it i pray let the book of remembrance be opened over you tonight in the name of the lord jesus for those of you who maybe because of the quality of your certificate humanly speaking you may not get a job my god because of the anointing he has put in your life let that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ may that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ whoever has vowed that you will not live to be gainfully employed in the name that is above all names we arrest those powers this night hallelujah for those of you who are working but the work you are doing is like slavery in jesus name we relocate you from that job to something of dignity we relocate you from that job to something of dignity hallelujah please go back to your seat rejoicing go and submit your cvs go and apply knowing that you have an anointing i don't think we're wasting our time this night god is visiting issues and i'm very happy about it hallelujah the next set of people the lord is ministering that i call whether you or someone in your family that has been trusting god for the fruit of the womb please march out here quickly this fruit of the womb issue even if you come out 10 times tonight don't worry greatly to be praised greatly to be praised father you reign great are you lord greatly to be honestly i really feel sad in my spirit for those who could not make it tonight for koinonia because what god is doing in this place i know that there is an unusual anointing in this place hallelujah listen listen those of you standing please listen don't get too used to just coming out and going back listen to me please my bible tells me that children are a heritage from the lord are you getting me children are not just the byproduct of a man meeting with his wife children are a heritage from the lord let me tell you the, something about the mystery of barrenness look up please jesus looked at a tree what did he do to the tree to be barren that means what is responsible for barrenness is that true jesus gave us an example of how anything can be made barren he looked at the tree he didn't advise the tree he caused the tree so how do you reverse barrenness are you listening to me jesus looked at a tree that was bearing at least it had leaves 
Are you getting my point? And he caused it. How did he cause it? By making pronouncements. Did he rub charcoal on the tree? He just made pronouncements. Listen. Job said that he shall deliver you from the scourging tongues of men. You know what the scourging tongues of men? The scourging tongues of men are wicked pronouncements. We live in a generation where we do not know the power of words. We confess, we talk it, we run around. But when a word is spoken with an anointing, whether it is demonic or of God, the only remedy is if revelation has shielded you from its effect. Otherwise, it will hit you. Now listen. I want to explain to you the mystery of this devilish thing we call fibroid. Because there are only about four or five things that make people not to be able to give birth. They now tell the man he's impotent, low sperm count, or whatever kind of medical terminology. Huh? And then for the lady, they now say she's barring fibroid, maybe some cysts or a womb, something has happened. And now, please, if you're a doctor here, don't, don't, I'm not, I'm not against you. Don't be offended. I'm just telling you that there is a higher spiritual intelligence. Are you getting my point? Because this is purely spiritual. Look at me. A lot of people take in. Most people, you see, I counsel people all the time. It's not what I read in a book. It's what I have seen. Hallelujah. The woman takes in. Huh? And then, when she takes in, you will find out that she will lie down quietly to sleep and she will have a dream oftentimes and another man will come and sleep with her or another woman or something will happen she will wake up in the morning with blood she's lost the child or all kinds of demonic satanic things but the bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that means there are handwritings and there are ordinances but the bible says blotting it out Hallelujah. Do you believe the prayer we are going to pray tonight? Because we are going to deal with this thing. There are some, the money they have spent just to get one child is running into millions. They've done everything they can do. But the God that gives children. If a herbalist by the riverside, brothers and sisters, can bath somebody and give the person a child, we have no right to be telling believers to stop going to herbalists if God cannot give children. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Lift your hands. I know there are, there are only a few of you here that are standing for yourself. Most of you are standing for your loved ones. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And God opened the womb of Rachel. And God opened the womb of Leah. Whether for yourself or for the person you are standing for. I'd like you to say after me in the name of Jesus. I'm a child of God. And I declare. That my womb is open. Open to receive. And open to give birth normally. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. You'll be surprised at what will happen here now. Then you will know that nothing just happens. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. My God, you are the one doing this. I don't even know what I'm doing. You need to step in for families. We can't keep preaching every week and not have people receive. Lift your hands, please. There are lots of chains that will be broken right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Whether for yourself or those you are standing, at the count of four, just four counts, because I see angels with swords. Lord, let the chains be broken. One, two, three, four. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I cause barrenness. I cause it. I cause it. I command a blessing. Every barren womb receive in the name of Jesus. Every barren womb 
be opened in the name of Jesus. Everyone called barren. All the covenants and diabolisms that have blocked their wombs. We command miracle children. We command miracle babies. I come against the spirit of miscarriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of miscarriage. Every fibroid in every womb. I curse you. You will pass out now. Everyone carrying any growth, any tumor, any cyst in the name of Jesus, whether for you or your loved ones, I curse it. Fibroids go, fibroids go without surgery. Fibroids go in the name of Jesus Christ. Any medical complication associated with this barrenness we change it now for those who do not have wombs we don't want to know what happened that the wombs were lost this night we give them new wombs every damaged womb we are not praying for healing we create a new one by the word of god that created the heavens and the earth that nine months from now there will be celebration of miracle children i prophesy it i decree it let the power of god bring it to pass hallelujah god bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah now i'm led to pray listen this is a special prayer and please don't be emotional about it there are certain people here you're having acute academic challenges it's not because you are dull your own has become a serious issue you know you need prayer march out quickly march out quickly if you are ashamed sit down on your seats here there are people who are serious you came here tonight your results were released for some of you and you know that your academics is in a state of emergency come out here let's deal with this thing once and for all can you play strings please We refuse to believe that you are dull. The devil is a liar. Please come quickly. Find your way. Just come here. Let's save time. Goodness. That's eight. If this is all we do today, no problem. Hallelujah. If this is all we do today, no problem. Next week is a powerful communion service. We'll be having communion and I'll be laying hands on everybody. Everybody who comes. I'm going to be laying hands on everybody praying in tongues and speaking hallelujah i'm going to be sharing a powerful revelation on the mystery of the blood hallelujah it's going to be a powerful communion service we'll be serving communion and it will be an anointing service again i'm going to lay hands on everybody hallelujah things must change we are going to force things to change hallelujah please if you can find your way come in I, I want to see you but if you cannot no problem we need to rebuke academic issues hallelujah listen let me tell you something not everyone you see struggling academically is struggling because they are not serious out of him now come out i hear the chains falling falling oh, oh. i hear the chains falling you must let him go you're a wicked spirit i hear the chains falling see that power must let you go this night that power must let you go this night. Hallelujah. 
how many of you have had so many people telling you i was the best student in my secondary school i was very good some of you here as you are standing you cannot even believe that you are the one going through what you are going because if you tell people they will not believe you were exceptional people but as soon as you stepped in something happened some of you literally during exam this thing they call exam fever and people laugh about it they've even given it a name exam fever it's a wicked and demonic thing what is exam fever it's not because of tension you wrote wayek you wrote jam you entered the university see the the reason can i tell you something listen the reason why many people are suffering like this is because there is no platform to help them explain what they are going through so they just keep quiet they go to church on sunday and they rejoice they go to church weekdays they rejoice but the truth is this see my teaching tonight was to teach us on loving god more but the sincere truth is these are the worries that are stopping us from being passionate about god is that true it's not enough to just say love god he said how can we sing the lord's song in a strange land take us back to our land and we'll sing the lord's song how can we sing the lord's song in a strange land it's very difficult hallelujah there are some of you right here you are the only ones in your family that are in school and the devil wants to make sure that he kicks you out by all means it's because she's part of that word that i just said that's why hallelujah there are some of you they are saying if you don't do well you will just go and get married because this is your thing is like you are not moving anywhere marriage is not a quick way of escaping it's not escapism hallelujah i'm going to pray for you that a hand will come upon you and oh, see the bible says that jesus opened up their understanding that means it can be locked are you getting my point jesus opened up their understanding so that they may understand the scriptures you are not dull some of you have even believed it jesus died to make sure that you excel are you hearing what i'm saying and i don't care what your cgpa is right now even if you have been withdrawn i want you to know that there is hope for you many preachers may not tell you this they will just criticize and say this you are an embarrassment to redemption you are not an embarrassment to redemption it's because of you redemption happened are you hearing what i'm saying and right now i want to prophesy and speak over your life lift your hands please in one minute talk to the lord and say lord i've been struggling with this thing now you have located me please solve this problem please pray some of you are absolutely intelligent we refuse to believe that you are dull kick away that thing i don't care what your results have said Talk to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Some of you have refused to sleep for weeks. This is what has tied you down. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. Let me pray. Of course, there are spirits that are responsible. Some of you listen. What you need is to get serious. As simple as that. For some of you, that's all you need. You don't need any deliverance. You just need to obey the principles of diligence. See yet a man diligent. You are not diligent. You need to leave wrong associations and find godly people who are doing well. Some of you, what you need is humility. You are not doing well and you are very arrogant. You won't humble yourself and meet the people who can help you in this kingdom you must be humble are you getting me for some of you is inferiority complex because you went to a secondary school where you use stone 
and you, you sat down and the blackboard somebody holds it so what so what about that and you have allowed the society to make you feel you are nobody i can't speak english very well i'm not as fine as they are other people attended queen's college and us we attended school that we are the people that were building the school as we're attending the lecture <laughs> so you feel discouraged no tonight i cancel that pronouncement over your life lift your hands let me pray and rebuke those spirits now thank you jesus please help me with the symbol at the count of three i'm going to pray goodness i'm telling you the fire of god is going to come on a very in a very mighty way lord jesus every power holding your academics at the count of three i set them on fire one two three take it now leave them i command those powers be taken from your academics i rebuke those spirits of failure inferiority i set them on fire on fire now on fire now by the power of the holy ghost i set those spirits on fire let those people go let those people go i command that you excel i prophesy that you excel everyone on probation we take you out of probation tonight in the name of jesus those who have been withdrawn we pray that they will accept you in another department and you will excel though weeping and just for a night i prophesy to you joy comes joy comes with the morning i prophesy to you he said is there hope for a tree though it be cut off at the scent of water this night i command every academic dry pole come alive come alive come alive come alive every spell every divination over your academics i set you free now in the name of jesus whoever has made pronouncement over your life that you will not excel i cause that prophecy i cause that word i bless you i bless you prosper i bless you i bless you in the name of jesus let the blessing cause you to prosper hallelujah anyone called god anyone called god there's nobody that god created that is god anyone called god i change that testimony tonight in the name of jesus hallelujah there are some of you here you are like wounded soldiers but we bring you the bomb that is in gilead tonight others may have insulted you and made it look like nothing good can come out of your life but i prophesy to you you can rise again are you hearing me listen some of you are starting afresh they have laughed at you but start the hand of god will go with you in no time you will pursue you will overtake and that which has been prophesied over your life will come to pass everyone who has scorned you and pushed you and ridiculed you may they see you in your glory may they see you in your glory and when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream and our hearts were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord has done great things for us he said the lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh god like the streams of the negev lord i pray you turn around situations here tonight turn around situations oh god there are some of you this is your last session to do well in that department and if you don't do well they may withdraw you i pray by the mercies of the god of david 
oh god remember those you died for let a book of remembrance be open tonight may you rise miraculously out of probation hear me and anyone here who has been unjustly treated that the sincere truth is that your result now you are holding what is not your own may the lord of sabaoth the one who avenges for men may that god avenge for you that anyone who has victimized you because of your christian integrity and you are suffering today because of your integrity let the lord of sabaoth arise in the name of jesus christ Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Please go back to your seat. Thank you for lifting. 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 God is really dealing with issues tonight. I'd like you to just settle down I'm just don't mind me if you're coming here for the first time tonight please just let us do our mad things the way we are doing it hallelujah how many of you agree that God is visiting issues tonight whatever prayer you prayed this week God had you maybe it's because the prayer band people are doing retreat tomorrow they have shaken the heavens Venga. People have prayed their lives and they have said enough is enough i just came and mounted the stage and god said no way hallelujah praise the lord jesus praise the lord jesus hallelujah i want to pray for a special set of people right now um there are families please can you hear me outside can you hear me say amen Okay, God bless you. Thank you. There are families here that have one or two people that are as stubborn as anything. How many of you know what I mean? I don't just mean rebellious. You have some people that even the community around you is tired of. Parents drag their children and bring them for counseling. Once I see a mother enter and I see a son following, I know that this son has caused headache. Are you getting me? The church is the light of every city. If for now, we may not be able to build boreholes and the rest, we can rehabilitate these stubborn children. That's a, st a place to start. There are testimonies in this place of children or people who came and were as stubborn as anything from those who are thieves. Huh? It's not just guys, guys and ladies. Some of you, you are here, as I mentioned the case, don't just stand for somebody. You know that there's this spirit in you. It's called the spirit of rebellion. There are some of you who still, no matter what happened, listen, we are a family tonight. Koinonia is not where everybody says, tell them or point accusing fingers. Everybody has something he's trusting God to bring him out of. Are you getting my point? So this is a family in this place tonight. There are people who have struggled with these rebellious spirits. Some of you even beat up your loved ones. You are a lady, but when that thing comes upon you, you can even beat somebody as, as, as big as Kenny or Shedrach. And then later you just cool down. You'll say, what happened? You say, they made me angry. You need deliverance. Quickly. Let me just tell you. Praise God. Now, don't get when I talk of deliverance, I'm not necessarily talking of turning your head. You need a separation between you and that spirit. Let's define what we call deliverance here so that you don't just think, I mean, go and fast for 12 days, do this. Uh -uh. What is happening every time the word comes is able to deliver. Hallelujah. 
So whether you are standing for your loved ones or for yourself, there are some of our brothers here, you, you love God or at least you have an interest for the things of the kingdom. But this rebellious spirit, even you, you cannot explain. Together with those of you who are involved in smoking and drinking, this is a strange night. Praise God. We are not just going to do an altar call secretly between you and God. I'm going to pray. This is not an altar call. This is a call to say, Lord, I'm tired. I can't keep hiding this thing. Praise God. Are you getting my point? Please come out quickly. Well, come out quickly. Come and stand. If you are standing for yourself, stand in front and start praying. Start praying and saying, Lord, enough is enough. Don't let anybody laugh at you. God is changing you. Please stand. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is a factory where God is building people. And all of you who are sitting, please be praying in tongues. Everybody sitting, begin to pray in tongues. Begin to pray in tongues. Let's set this atmosphere on fire. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Forget about who is looking at you. Forget about who is looking at you. Hallelujah. 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 There are some of you who are standing in for yourselves. There's no reason to be afraid or ashamed. For those ones, I'm going to hold your hands and I'm going to pray for you. And then we'll prophesy for all the rest. Please, if you know that you have seen this thing is in your own life, not that of your brother, whether you're a guy or lady, please move forward here. Come and stand and let me pray for you. If you are ashamed, please go back. We are very serious. Even with all this encouragement, you don't see any. Just stay back, please. These are things we are dealing with. This is spiritual rehabilitation so that your Christianity will be authentic. It may not be your fault. Hallelujah. 95% of these so-called stubborn or rebellious people, every time I talk with them, some of them begin to cry. And they tell me in all sincerity, I don't like it. Are you getting me? There are ladies here, weak. There is no weak. You don't follow a man to sleep with him. You are born again. You even pray in tongues. People have told you, it's all right, you are the righteousness of God. But you know that that theology is not, it's not, it's true that you are the righteousness of God. But something is happening in your life that is negating that. And it must be dealt with. There are some of our brothers, you love God some of you still as anointed as you are once you just sit down a spirit tells you exactly where the place is and you go and carry it they give them every kind of scientific name i don't care what the name is it must bow this night are you getting what i'm saying when i finish then i'll prophesy over everybody Everybody must go home with something this night in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, those of you standing in front for our time, I'll pray with you very quickly. I'm not going to ask you what the issue is, but I want you to believe. Listen, there are some of you, your own issue is money. Once you see money, hi. You don't, it's like an anointing comes on you. Once you see money, the show of born again is out of the way. Please, I want you to know if nobody has told you that it's a serious issue. That's what has stopped some of you from getting married. You have vowed that if the guy is not established and a millionaire, he should back to sender. You keep saying all those things and you are laughing about it. If you've been laughing about it, let me challenge you. You better hear what I'm saying and take it as the voice of God. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with God blessing you with a millionaire. But everybody starts somewhere. It's only the grave that you start digging from the top. Every other thing you start from under. Hallelujah. I'm going to agree with you. And those spirits will leave you. 
you will go back home a changed person and you will find out that those laws see do you know the listen let me tell you you are truly delivered if the urge to do what you are doing has left you if you are still enduring and using willpower you need prayers are you getting me there are men who are not sleeping with ladies but they cannot look at a fine lady like this and go back home safely that one look it will take one week recovery of one week you will reboot your spiritual life again you need prayers don't let anybody tell you it's normal everybody's like that then what is the purpose of the power of the holy spirit if we are not faking this thing and we believe the power of god is real something can happen to you are you getting my point or you are not stealing you've not carried it it's just that opportunity has not presented itself yet but once you are still struggling with the urge for something you need prayers as simple as that never convince yourself that everything is over yet once you find out that there is something still pushing you you get up and you know that you just want to go to the man's house he just calls you and says ah I'm in Kano, close to you here. Can you come? Just take a cab, I'll pay. And you are just thinking, should I go? Should I not go? If I go, I'm coming back with nothing less than 50,000. If I don't go, I'm struggling this weekend. But I've had a message. And while you are listening, God will remind you of one koinonia message. And you will hear me with my big mouth lashing this thing again and again. And God will say, choose. Choose by yourself. Ladies, if you cannot look at a man and tell him, I stand for Jesus and I will hold on to my Christian integrity, you need prayers and revelation. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm telling you this from the depths of my heart. This is not condemnation. I'm helping you. Jesus, we thank you. Those of you sitting, stretch your hands towards them. Let me pray quickly for the people in front. Somebody help me. I'll just pray for them very quickly very quickly once I pray. as I lay my hands on you just begin to confess that you are free free go leave her now smokers make sure you join them i'm not going to ask you whether whatever you are smoking indian ham benelin we we everything join them i don't care what it is once you are smoking something you need prayers i'm serious about it please i don't care whether this is your first time or you are a pastor there's nothing to be ashamed of once you have this addiction of drunkenness and smoking join them is this spirit of rebellion? Go ahead, worship him. Help me. I won't go back. I won't go back. Out. 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 Out.
of Jesus Christ I set you free and right now in the name of are standing for somebody i'm going to pray generally i'm just praying for those who are standing for themselves just be patient i will speak over your life we need salvation for listen if koinonia is here and at least samaru is not we can build borehole for people but if the crime rates does not reduce if there are still bad people around we are hypocrites we are just doing jamboree and doing church are you getting me but if the families in the days of John G. Lake, Spokane was the neatest and cleanest and healthiest city in the whole world. Because they were envoys. This is what apostolic reformation is all about. It's not just speaking grammar. That you left your home a thief and you came back a prophet and apostle. Something must happen to your loved ones. Wait and see. After this prayer, some of them will follow you for miracle service. Those who have vowed that they won't come, you will see them coming because they tried all their rehabilitation. They took your name to prophets. Nothing happened. Hallelujah. Listen, I have a very serious word of advice. Maybe it's because you've never had a preacher say it. But let me say some things very clear sex outside marriage is sin everybody say noted so that you are never confused again that maybe they didn't say it or they said it i'm taking this issue very seriously sex outside marriage of any kind for whatever reason is sin forget about your past are you getting what i'm saying i'm not condemning you past is past Number two, stealing money from people, your loved ones and people around in the name of playing tricks and pranks brings a cost to your life. I don't care what revelation of redemption you have. You keep stealing willfully and consciously and see what happens because the scriptures cannot be broken. Are you getting what I'm saying? Brothers, we we. Benelin, what's the name of that other thing? Codin. What again? Huh? These people made these drugs as a way of adding value to humanity. And these wicked spirits started working in people. You ask them a simple question. One plus one, they cannot answer. But they know which drug can take you high. 
that's spiritual are you getting me a time will come we are going to organize a service and bring these people and you will see the power of God setting these people free there's no need just talking at, they are the ones stealing around and if we really want the crime rate to reduce and we want to them to stop raping our ladies in the night and doing all kinds of things they must be delivered this is not just the issue of police station this is the issue of the power of God then the church will have an influence with government because they will know that it's not just Bible study on Sunday but there is what we call apostolic reformation there is enough power to help anybody who desires to be helped no matter how stubborn they are hallelujah praise God come please take a powerful worship Sam just take a powerful worship as I pray for these people how many people are left here all right, let me. If I pray for you, please just step back so that I just finish up with these people very quickly. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I don't care what the issue has been. If you are in a relationship with a married man, as soon as we are sharing the grace, send him a text. Hello, ladies. If you are in a relationship with any man that is married and has a wife, send him a text. Tell him a man of God spoke to you and now your eyes are open. Don't insult him. Say, I have gotten the truth. I love you. Whatever is not working with your wife, I invite you for koinonia. God will solve it. Leave their marriage so God can give you your own. When you enter and destroy another man's marriage, I'm saying it now. Somebody must say this thing. You are not a counselor. Say, the man says he's not satisfied with his wife. They need prayers. They don't need you. You are coming in now as what? A well-wisher? Don't take anybody's wife. The same thing with men. Don't take anybody's woman because you have money and then you think you are married. You are a big boy. And this, let's stop these things. Somebody has got to talk. Hallelujah. So that God can now bless you. Bible says if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and will heal their will, will forgive their sins and heal their land hallelujah Sam please any song okay, let's pray quick. thank you Jesus I set you free. Can't go back. 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 Can't go So the Lord can use her. In the name of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, everything that sponsors this rebellion, leave her now.
of one in your house that is giving everybody headache from stealing to prostitution hallelujah there are some they won't go to school they won't do anything but they can cause trouble to everyone it's not normal don't hate them stop hating them now you have spiritual intelligence to know that there are spirits that operate trying to hate them and just beat and box them will not solve the problem you can even call police to come and flog them they can jail them for one week they will come out and repeat the same thing but you try the power of god and see what will happen lift your hands let me pray for you father this is one of the reasons why you set up this platform and in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let there be deliverance and salvation to those ones in the name of jesus i declare that beginning from tonight may the lord begin to convict their hearts may they be born again and mightily used by god i prophesy that they will be born again and mightily used by god we choose to see the goal that is in them we choose to see the great destiny we declare that their lives are not useless no matter how much they have wasted their life my god gives them another chance in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now i've prayed for them on your own path as much as you can talk to them listen it's not just to bring them for koinonia you are anointed you have been using cane to flog them one day get angry in your spirit and speak to that spirit and you watch what will happen in your house you will see the drama of the power of god see this is why some of our parents or some loved ones do not believe that your coming for koinonia is blessing you if all you are taking back is koinonia messages they will be blessed but they need to see an evidence in your life that something is working hallelujah god bless you please go back to your seat quickly one last category and we are done for tonight goodness please don't miss next week's communion service i already sense that god is doing very 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 mighty things hallelujah hallelujah please i don't want you to just come out emotionally hallelujah whether you are inside or outside if you run a business if you have a business whether it's a family business or it's your own i'm not saying if you are thinking of an idea or if you are just doing something small around you know that whether it's a family business whatever it is from poultry to whatever and you think that you want to see the hand of god in your business and that of your family members please i'm begging you let's save time hallelujah if you belong to that category you know that you just need the touch of god i want you to come out and stand here trusting trusting that god will do something please the sound Now, while they come, I want to encourage everyone here. Please listen, inside and outside. While you are waiting for jobs and other things, especially for the guys, I want to challenge every one of you here. Hallelujah. Just stand. I'm going to pray for you. Please take this very seriously. Something will happen to you. But I want you to listen. Those of you who are not doing anything, I'm challenging you tonight. You can't keep sitting down and waiting for a job. Brothers and sisters, the sincere truth is that in the world that we live today, just having one stream of income of your job will not do you good. I hope you know that. Praise the Lord. I don't care even if it is 200,000 per month you are receiving. It will not be enough. 
it may be enough for you now because you are stingy and greedy and you are doing everything for yourself let children come how much is the school fees of one child a very good school good school huh over hundred thousand plus you can imagine now you have been shouting you are training your children with 150 and you are collecting hundred thousand your entire life till you die till high blood pressure kills you will be on deficit but you need you is it doesn't just mean to jump into things foolishly here and there but let me tell you listen listen you must get up and do something the man with one talent sat down for somebody in this place this is the message god is telling you if you if you are afraid of doing business you can start a poultry at least what is wrong with three or four of you listen i'm very serious just just stop this let me press this thing down praise god what is wrong with three or four of you bringing 50 50 thousand naira together huh and buying one small golf and getting somebody honest to be putting it on the road for you you bought a phone of seventy thousand naira that's your destiny there you are holding it on your hand and moving around are you getting what i'm saying i don't just want to pray and chorus this like music some of us are not doing anything about our lives you must get up there are ladies here i challenge one of our ladies she came to me and i said you are good what can you do she said i can bake i said bake what she said cupcakes i said what has stopped you from baking cupcakes five or ten package it very well give it a beautiful name you think people won't buy it you will sit down and be thinking about the idea and then somebody will do it and you'll be biting your finger not taking a risk is a greater risk some of you are afraid what if my money goes that you kept it are you not eating the money the money is still going praise the lord seek advice seek advice we teach on finances to be able to help us i don't believe in people getting anointed alone and remaining poor and broke and now is the time to start start and fail honorably fail honorably and do it again it's better than sitting down or god jordan is here or jordan wave your hand or god jordan is here i knew when he started his bookstore the room was so small. It was just like this little place. But today God has honored him. He's already making modalities to enter partnership with people like Evangel and all of these people going to China to bring in books. He started small. My brother, where is this gentleman? This guy that made tomato. Wave your hand now. This gentleman came to me for counseling, I remember. And he told me. I said, what, what can you do? He said, I can do irrigation tomato or something. And he did it. Within a month or two, this guy brought a black leather full of very heavy, big, big tomatoes. But someone was still sitting down there. There is something you can do. Say, I will do something. Do Say it. Some of you brothers, you are sitting there. The truth is there is something small in the account. Maybe 20,000. Maybe 10,000. If you start a small recharge card, this thing. Challenge yourself. Don't let Nigerians with their, with their fear come and meet you and tell you this and that. If you are afraid of moving forward, you will be broke in this life. Let me tell you the truth. Brothers, challenge yourself. God is speaking to you this night. I'm not saying just get into every kind of hustling and get into every kind of gimmicks and scammings around. No. But you can settle down with directed financial intelligence. You can do something that can bless you. Ladies, how many of you bake here? If you know you bake to the glory of God, let me see your hands. Why are you sitting down? Is that not your gift? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you tried it and failed? When you fail, you learn the lessons and get back. Hallelujah. There are all kinds of fields around. If you get a small place and start poultry, within six to seven weeks, they are ready. Some of you are good. How many of you are good in graphics? Good in graphics. You know that you are good enough to, to you see that. Can't you start something? Look at the media. Imagine if you are so good, why can't you come and advertise yourself and tell the media, I'm very good. Give me job to do for Koinonia. If you bring proposals and we look at it and it makes a lot of sense, we'll take it. 
I will pay you for it. We won't say you are a Christian brother. We will pay you for your value. But have you taken a step? No. Some of you make shirts. How many of you make shirts? Let me see your hands. You make shirts. Honestly, you make shirts. You. And you have never made any shirts for me. And I know you. You see what you are saying? Ejimi, when Ejimi started making shirts, it was iron. Hot iron. What do they call it? Is it screen printing? No, that's not screen printing. Yeah? Heat transfer. You will press the iron on the shirt and then we'll, we'll go on with it. Challenge yourself. Let's not just keep saying demons, demons, demons. Where it is our own part to play, let's play it. Is that true? I feel like everybody should stand up. Everybody stand up. You must join them in this, in this one. Why are you sitting down? With everything that I've said, you are supposed to be standing up and even raising two hands. <laughs> Let's pray and then after it, we'll take the altar call. I want everybody to be blessed. Not everybody will be a man of God to stand on stage and be receiving honorariums. But there is something you can do. Everyone say, there's something I have. I, I cast out that spirit of fear that stops you from taking action. Fear of losing, fear of I cast it out in the name of Jesus. If you must be blessed in life, it takes audacity. It takes God's. Hallelujah. Ladies, how many of you plat? I know Selena plat. Where is she? Selena. She has run away. Okay, look at her. Some of you plat. But the problem is, you are like the man with the one talent. You buried it and sat quietly. Have you come out to make yourself known? Look, let me tell you. If you think you have what it takes, market yourself. And we will promote you. I assure you. If you think you have what it takes, and you believe you are prepared to stand, we are not going to bring crooks. As I'm saying this now, let me balance it. You are a crook who will pray, we'll send you away. Or we'll pray for you. If you become a headache, we'll send you away. Clean business with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Fail honorably. We'll clap for you and pray for you again. But don't sit down and not do anything. Hallelujah. And then start small. Some of you want good luck, Jonathan, to call you to be his secretary. Start small. Start small. Start small. How many of you make... Um, Maybe mouthwash or lotions or soap and all of that. How many? Look at. Look at your money. See all your money here. Everybody. How many of you sell perfumes or cosmetics? You see that? Look at. I'm not saying you should come to church and come to do business around. But there, there are thousands of people. Please, I'm challenging you. Take it very seriously. Oh boy, you make cake now. Raise your hand. Why didn't you wave your hand? That gentleman, wave it very well. That gentleman makes exceptional cakes. The first time his sister made cake for me was in 2006. My birthday, Debbie. Ah! <laughs> that cake made sense. And then another thing I'll tell you again is, maybe the reason why you are where you are is you need to improve on yourself. Don't be a local champion and keep smiling. We will not patronize your product. And don't be angry. Don't say all this coin. On your... We won't buy it. Let me tell you in advance. You make a shirt that does not align this place. We will not buy it, sir. So learn and be excellent. Say I'll be excellent. I'll be excellent. How many of you fry chicken? You know the guy, Kentucky Fried Chicken, I think he was about 64 years or 84 years thereabout. It was frustration that led that man to start KFC. You see it around, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Today he has, he's a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire, because he dared to take a step. You don't have to do everything. You are doing chin chin, you are doing bones, you are doing uh, every, no, no, specialize somewhere. This is what I always tell people. Jack of all trades, you are, they say, what are you doing? You say, I'm doing everything. I'm, I make beats. I also sell pure water. Calm down. Focus on something. Kenny, your aunt, where is Kenny? Your auntie does what? What does she do? She sells coke. She retails coke. 
she makes so much money. Maybe in one day, what her salary will give her in one month. And we are still sitting down here. Is it that you are calling yourself dull or you are saying you cannot make it? Please challenge yourself. Brothers, God is speaking to you. I know that we are advising the sisters and saying start small. But you too cooperate. Haba. The small cannot be too bad like that. Cooperate. Let's balance the equation. Because some of us, we can't keep telling the sisters, okay, just come with anybody and the brother is not doing anything. You too be sincere. If the sister was your daughter, will you just give her to any man like that? Rise up and do something. Have you taken proposal to go and meet the schools around and say, I need to change your school uniform. I need to redesign it. Everybody may say no, but somebody will say yes. Hallelujah. I spent four good weeks teaching on financial dominion so that we will take steps. We were discussing with somebody on the potentials of seeing a laundry service around. Very excellent laundry service. There are some of you who can do it. Package yourself. I think it was with my sister. Baby, it was you, Abby? Yes. We are talking with my sister. And then, okay, Kenny, you were there too, and, and those boys. We sat down and we are talking. My sister, this lady wants to start a car wash. As you see her like that. She can't be my sister and she's not. The Bible says, let this mind be in you. Force it to be in you too. She's starting a car wash. A copper, but she's going to start a car wash. How old are you? You want to wait until the day it dawns on you that your energy is fading. Lift your hands. Don't go and steal. Don't go and do anything bad. But set it down. Many of you are crying and say, capital, capital, hold on. How many of you know about you win? At least you win is not a scam. We all know that is genuine. How many of you applied? You see that? Whereas there are people I know in this place who can settle down and help you prepare good business proposals. 10 million naira, not debt, grant that the government is giving. And let me tell you, they are very fair. I know some of our people here who got it. And I know they are very fair and genuine. How about submitting a proposal? Or at least partnering with somebody else. You can partner with somebody else. By the time the money comes, so a few of our people here got, got it. Brothers and sisters, let's wake up. God is talking to us. Hallelujah. Let's not just be falling down, take it, take it, and fall down. But let's get up and do something. Hallelujah. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. How many of you fix computers? You know that you know anything around computers. Okay, Moses, who again? Honestly, why can't you start a very good factory? Genuinely, if you can't fix the person's phone or computer, tell the person I cannot do it. How many of you bring in cars? Anybody does that? You just brought a car from Abuja now. Did you do it well? Clean business. You got your own commission. That's what we are talking about. You don't have to play pranks and tricks to be blessed. Are you getting me? Please, I'm challenging you. Hear me inside and outside. I'm going to pray now, but I want to challenge everyone. I don't just want to chorus it just like that. And then we don't do anything. In the whole of Amadou Bello University, for instance, at least let me use one institution. Is there an ice cream machine there? Please answer me. Is there an ice cream machine? Look at, and there are over 40,000 potential customers. There are some of you here, the money you have right now in your account can buy 10. Why don't you prepare a proposal? Three or four of you. Don't just choose people because they are Christians and then they cheat you and you come and give me a headache here. Use financial intelligence. Are you getting me now? So that somebody, because I'm aware that in a crowd like this, there are all kinds of people. Don't let anybody come in the name of the Lord and carry you and then go and do some kind of funny things. No. But with proper financial intelligence, some of you here, you have the potentials to be paying the school fees of others. You are looking for a job that will give you 30,000, whereas God wants to make a nation out of you. An ice cream machine. 
an ice cream machine. Let me tell you. I remember when one guy opened an ice cream machine some years ago. I was spending more than 1,000, a bit 2,000 per day just to buy for myself and others. One tiny cup like this. One color. Not even chocolate and this. One milk color. See, as a Christian, take the anointing you are receiving and let it open your eyes to see opportunities. Are you getting my point? Where others are looking, you should see. Don't let anybody tell you you are small. No. Challenge yourself. This is how to get out of poverty. Please do it and fail honorably. If you did it in integrity, my God will revisit you and you will rise up again. Hallelujah. At this level, it may be unwise for you to start thinking, I want to develop an estate. You may not have that kind of money. It may require tens and hundreds of millions to do that. So why don't you start small? How many of you are producers, music producers? You can produce. You can produce, Mike. You can produce. You too. You too. See? Have you packaged yourself enough? Have you tried to do a jingle proposal for media? Why don't you do a jingle proposal for media? Have you done it and they didn't pay you? Let me tell you something. In as much as we are working in the body of Christ, are you getting my point? I understand the principle of rewarding value. Can I tell you something? I'm challenging everyone in this place. If you have something you think can make Koinonia a better place and you package it, bring it as a proposal. If we love it, we will honor you and we will pay you for it. I guarantee you. Every week, welfare is cooking. Why can't some of you make poultry? Look at our ladies. Shortly, I'm going to be announcing some new weddings that have come up now. Why don't you go and meet them and say, I have 100 birds. Just book. How much is one bed? 1,005. One five. Now, if you have 100 beds, or let's say 50 beds, how much is that? About 75,000 there about. And then they carry the money and they are giving somebody and we are sitting in the body of Christ. Please, let's be wise Christians. Times have changed. Are you getting my point? I'm saying this from the depths of my heart to challenge us. Don't say there is nothing I, can, I cannot do. He said, what do you have in your house? There is always something in your house. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. There is something you have in your house. You can sell clothes. Do you know, listen, I have been shocked. Many of you, you have seen me come to stand here to minister. And you know that as ministers, we are always wearing clothes. And some of you have, there are, see, if this was in the east or this was in the south, Somebody will sit down and say, let me study the kind of shirt this person is wearing. Let me study this and that. And then you start producing. It's only one lady. Where is she? Our decoration mama. Where is she? I think she was the only one together with Ada. It was you, right? Together with Ada. That they were able to put something on ground. Because she's a fashion designer. As a fashion designer, you are there throwing your money, designing rags all around. And people are not buying design something decent how many brothers dress well here there are some of you who can sell nice suits you may not be able to afford certain levels maybe 30 000, 40 50 100 but you can start small many brothers here don't know where they sell suits why don't you bring it closer home hallelujah some of you draw how many of you draw you are painters or you are artists you, you did very well. You are one of the best students now in your. Have you tried to do a proposal to say when it is somebody's birthday, you can say, I can point, paint your picture. 30,000 people are selling one of those artworks. Have you done anything? So let's stop blaming God when we have not taken any step. Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands. Thank you, Jesus. As we lift our hands in worship, as we praise your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. Father, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. 
like a letter Satan is writing to God he uses men like the canvas and says I am making a mockery of men to prove that your word is not true are we together now so when I trust God and I still come and I'm sick and the sickness is eating me it's not about you Satan does not even care he is trying to use men the highest of God's creation to make a statement to the heavens that bowing down you did not do. I am now using your image to compel creation to bow down to me. And so when God finds a witness, men and women who represent the systems of God, who represent portals that manifest the multifaceted possibilities of God in the earth, they now begin to rewrite in the lives of men. Watch this. So this lady, come darling, this lady, has cancer it's eating her up that's a letter from satan it is never about the cancer satan does not care he's he's contented with the statement and the reaction of creation to him by reason of this are we together so when she comes for a miracle service like this god begins to rejoice not because he just became powerful finally an intercourse between need and supply Listen, every time, hear me, every time God heals a man, it was not that night he planned to heal the man. He had been navigating the need and the faith of that man to the grace, the unction level it takes to produce that miracle. And when two of them collide, there must be a miracle. I've taught you something. Listen, oh, let me not go ahead of myself. I'm enjoying myself here very seriously. Listen, this lady cancer now i've prayed for her and she's not healed that's a double message you see that that message now her faith begins to fail her because she's saying but but i mean does that mean my situation is different and she goes to god lord i love you i love you but then she begins to think and somebody comes to say look there's one man somewhere oh, i'm advising you all this your jesus thing me too i'm a christian i gave my life to christ before you were born i'm only telling you this in what is there to just go and carry one goat i can even give you half of the money you see it is a statement satan uses men their situations is like the pen he writes a letter to heaven watch the ones you claim you died for barren of your faithfulness yet you study from scripture I have been young and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, not you see beg for bread. Then Satan comes to write a letter. That's why God is searching for men. He's not searching for men to give them titles. He's finding space in the earth through men. So that the multifaceted dimensions of his possibilities can be made manifest. Now, if this lady supernaturally gets healed, like the gentleman, look at the guy that, 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 um, that came back to life 25 people immediately 25 people because a dead body came back to life you can't deny that are we together that's a statement brothers and sisters tonight my father will write another statement yes he will yes he will see God does not just write anyhow. He writes in a way that he must force you to read it. His miracles are notable. Ask Moses. He made the bush to burn in such a way Moses could not ignore it. That's the same way somebody will walk out of this meeting and all of a sudden doors opening, 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 
opening. Hallelujah. Opening. That's the God we serve. So when miracles are not just a proof that a man is anointed, that's the last reason for a miracle. Miracles are a message. It's a reply from God back to men and to the gates of hell. I am still faithful. The lion, the lamb, my benevolence is still in force. I am still good. My mercy endures forever. And he uses men. Sometimes you see in his wisdom, he just allows the devil to exhaust his knowledge. Then he comes in so cheaply and lifts a man and says, Satan, how about this? When you understand this, hear me. You will passionately pursue the presence and the power of God, not for fame. You are seeking to give God space. There is a statement that God needs to write to principalities and powers. They mock God in our lives. Are we together? This is what happens. Because it's difficult. Brothers and sisters, we are humans. When your life has a track record code of perpetual failure, it will test your faith. And that's when Satan comes and tries to say, where is your God? You are 39 years as a lady. You have loved God all your life. No marriage. And I'm here believing my life anyhow. I'm still married, but another man still wants to add another marriage to me. Look at two of us. Brothers and sisters, they are not speaking on their own. It's a letter. So it is good to give God thanks in that situation. But it's best to give God thanks in victory. Are we together? Yeah. Thank you. Demonic forces. They exist. They are real. And they have made nonsense. First Thessalonians 2.18. Please let's hurry up. First Thessalonians 2.18. The apostle was speaking and he opened us up to something very, very profound. I want us to read together. Ready? One to read. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, your breakthrough. But what happened? Help me, please. Once and again, your breakthrough would have come to you. Your prayers answered already. But Satan hindered us satan can attempt to hinder men from meeting men satan can attempt to hinder things from meeting men are we together now it's part of the reasons why we pray we pray because in the place of prayer we create our own climate and we command the forces of darkness we enforce the victory of christ and we clear the air for believers to receive the fullness of the blessings of God. The last reason, very quickly, and then we'll pray. Why do people experience limitations in their lives? They trivialize and ignore the place of spiritual empowerment. This is the last reason. The last reason, I've given you four reasons. Why people remain in perpetual defeat. They trivialize and ignore for many the place of spiritual empowerment. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. We celebrate the anointing of the Holy Spirit in this place. Not just the ministry of the Spirit. As you know we are on a series the Holy Spirit. He says, finally, my brethren, haven't told you all these other things. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His. The word might there means His resources. His resources. The power that comes with His resources. There are arsenals. There are mysteries. There are supplies of graces and possibilities that make God God. And the Bible says we should be strong in that. The power, our access to those things is what gives us strength in this kingdom. Are we together now? 
there are powers of darkness that will arise and contend with believers once and again Psalm 66 verse 3 Psalm 66 verse 3 let's read one to go say unto God how terrible art thou in thy ways help me please through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves brothers and sisters it takes power to reign in this kingdom it takes power to reign in this wicked world it will take power for you to rise and not compromise yet prosper it takes power it's more it takes more than sincerity in a wicked and a depraved world are you going to bribe no i will stand in for truth that means there is no promotion for you and you can remain there for decades are you from so 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 state no i'm not no you are not qualified for this position human sentiments it takes power to defy the wickedness of men it takes power hallelujah it takes power it takes power to build a ministry much more than wisdom it takes the ability of god he says rabbi john 3 verse 1 we know that thou art a man nicodemus seeing the mighty works of jesus christ they criticized him in the day but he smuggled his way to jesus in the night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him the anointing of the Holy Spirit is God's authorization upon a man to represent him. God's authorization. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is God's ability. Listen, the capacity to produce God's result, God's dimension of result can only be produced by his dimension of power and grace. We trivialize the anointing because we have been taught that the anointing is for men of God and since I'm not being called into the fivefold ministry I do not need the anointing no brothers and sisters hear me the anointing the anointing I've said it again I want it to become a revelation in you that the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference the difference between a man who rises out of death and out of every challenge is the anointing a thriving ministry and a struggling one the anointing a thriving career and a struggling one the anointing the anointing will be the difference between your next level and where you are now don't trivialize it don't say it is unnecessary no the anointing is God's advantage in the life of the believer it truly is an advantage I think it was the last set of school of ministry students I was teaching them when we were doing pneumatology. I was teaching them about the anointing. And I said, this is our wicked world. People ask you, who is your father? He's an iron bender. Who is your mother? She sells a car somewhere in the road. No, you cannot rise. We are victims of the wickedness, the sentiments, the ethno-religious biases of men. In a world where people want you to bring something, you need the advantage, not an advantage. Brothers and sisters, the anointing can take you where anything can take anybody. The anointing. Others may get there because of their connections. Others may get there because Uncle So 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 went. And once you are there, they ask you, How did you come? And then you laugh. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. Is God's ability, God's ability is working in me, it's working in me. That will be your testimony. Is God's ability, is God's ability working in me? The anointing will always produce supernatural results. You've heard me say it. If it is the Lord's doing, 
then it must be marvelous in our eyes if it is a man's doing it is natural and logical but brothers and sisters when your result defies the natural progression there is another agency other than you when your results in any area of life listen they called Jesus they said he was casting out devils by Beelzebub he said if I use Beelzebub the prince of demons by whom do your fathers their fathers were casting out devils they fraternized with the realm of the spirit access powers higher than a human power and were producing results that statement shows that no man can do supernatural things without the assistance of a dimension higher than that which you know yes yes in this day and age brothers and sisters the world is waiting for supernatural outcomes you don't just tell somebody be healed that's arrogance without the anointing now let me show you something i've taught you this again and again but i feel like doing it let me use a thousand naira if you would permit me please look at this because so many people really do not understand the operation of the anointing i want you to learn this please by the grace of God and by the privilege of his grace, I can tell you I understand the workings of the anointing. I want you to pay attention and listen closely. I may not boast of any other thing, but I can tell you I understand how this thing works. Listen, the anointing works like money. Watch this. If I give you, hey Jimmy, 1,000 Naira, do you know that there are many things this can buy? 1,000 Naira can buy this, but 1,000 Naira cannot buy a car. Are we together now so when if your desire is to buy a car you need multiples of 1,000 it is good that you have 1,000 but it is not sufficient to draw to your life the result this is how the anointing is don't say I'm anointed it must be to the level that is capable I thought this thing is energy physics defines power as work done per unit time that's the definition of the anointing God's ability that is dissipated per unit time to produce supernatural results that's the anointing listen if I try to lift this it doesn't mean I don't have energy it means the energy dissipated per unit time is small so I need another agency to assist me is that true believers this is how it is so it is not that the name of Jesus is there, it's not working. It is not that the anointing is not working. The situation that you are confronted with, this is why grace and peace is multiplied. Because there are situations that defy that current level. So he says, grace and peace be multiplied to you. Why is it multiplied? How God anointed Jesus, Acts 10, 30. Look at the extent to which he anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power let me show you how to be a blessing when you contend with the spirit to carry a dimension of grace and unction sufficient to solve most if not all the problems that you will find this is how you'll be a blessing if Dan Gote comes here now and decides to give everybody one one million how, do you, how many of you know that's not a prayer point for him? Because it is within his capacity. Are we together? If Koinonia decides to give everybody here one, one million, we'll have a problem somewhere. Correct? Not because we don't have money. It is the limit of our capacity. So it's not when, when this guy has a problem. It's like a shop. There is a dimension of anointing required to solve it. So when you come to help him, it's not just that you laid hands, he may even fall down. But the money is short. What do you need? More. More. More of the same thing. Not more of a different thing. More of what? The same thing. So Benihim can climb the stage and he's not even held the mic and 40 people rise out of the wheelchair. You see, that's... The anointing upon his life makes him see clearer the might and the possibilities of God. When you are not heavily anointed, you create a wrong picture of God because you struggle for little results and it looks like that's how much God tried to release that result. But watch another man who comes with grace and unction and you watch ease as a 
testimony it's called capacity the anointing makes God look limitless in the affairs of men this is why regardless of the results here and there that God produces we still remain in the secret place because there is more brothers and sisters there are people scattered here tonight if I ask everybody to come and hold the mic people will not travel from end to end there are people following from over 45 nations of the world they are not sitting down and wasting their time no no people want solutions now a man of God gets up here called Joshua Selman I would be a wicked man if I have not stayed with God sufficient enough at least at the level of the growth to be able to partner with the Holy Spirit that's why we cry for his mercy because there are many situations that we need results beyond our current levels of dealings with God and we need the mercy of God to superimpose the current level of grace that we carry that's why sometimes I tell you that God does not heal people just through a man's faith he switches to the covenant that that man has with him and it becomes a platform upon which he reaches men are we together tonight let me tell you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that there is grace to cause your mountains to look like valleys yes yes it doesn't take time it only takes time when an insufficient dimension of the anointing presents it learn this about the anointing the anointing can greatly misrepresent God it's like a television that is not well tuned it will make you think the producers were that poor until you take the same video to a clearer HD television and that's when you watch the artistry of those people the anointing can misrepresent the capacity of God hallelujah I take time to teach like this because the miracles and all this will not take time once your heart is aligned to receive then you will receive miracles upon miracles are we together this is how he gets glory when he finds men who are heavily anointed please hear me never be caught up by the results you currently have now no matter how great I tell you you ask the Lord my work with God is as if I don't have an iota of his anointing in my life there is a standard and there is a capacity that I'm working with God and I seek to get I have seen them in dreams and visions and I did not see this current level we are trusting God for levels where before koinonia starts before the first prayer point half of the people who come sick are already healed completely one woman one of our mothers i met a new mother new wonderful mother in portacourt lovely people those of you from portacourt i know they are listening to me now they are following me lovely lovely woman i love you with all my heart and um, the whole family i mean they are just into this ministry with their heart she donated her car and everything for them to use for the program and she shared a testimony i think it was yesterday that touched me she had been having some kind of respiratory problems and so when they picked me from the airport her children insisted that she would sit down at that same place and that woman said she just sat down and the children drove her home brothers and sisters that was the end of it now listen listen when you understand the anointing there is something interesting about it when you understand the anointing and you are heavily anointed the more heavy you are anointed the will your will plays really little role in its release it becomes wherever ask the woman with the issue of blood jesus did not even listen now he was not planning she just touched him and jesus said who touched me the anointing didn't say jesus can i flow no. so you can be in a restaurant you are eating and all of a sudden now you will never believe what i'm saying if you are casually anointed if you truly are anointed you become a blessing you greet somebody just shake his hand and that day he has more customers than he can ever imagine now even you you do not know till he tells you an effulgence of spiritual possibilities you your life has become a gateway and a portal 
revealing a dimension of possibility that is not affordable to the natural man I welcome you tonight to this place where God has chosen by his spirit to reveal the multifaceted dimensions of his grace and glory please rise up on your feet Oh, oh, oh. 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 I want you to just pray two prayer points from the depth of your heart. Number one, I'd like you to insist and say, Lord, I release my faith. There is no challenge I came here with tonight that will return back. Go ahead and pray. Prophesy, declare it. I wave every captivity goodbye. Jesus is Lord. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Pray. I believe in the mighty God. I have found David my servant and with my holy oil have I anointed him. It's a realm of your glory. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings. And like the voice of many waters. I can hear the angels sing You are holy You are holy You are holy You are holy Ta da da Ta da 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 Ta da da One last prayer point father take me to a new dimension there is always more lift your voice and pray take me to a new dimension take me to a new dimension are you praying take me to a new level 
let me not need to tell people that I came before your presence let there be an evidence let there be a testimony Nina kawo ya bo sarkin salama Nina kawo ya bo never be the same. I want to pray for you. Listen. I want you to trust God. Please hear me, especially for the visitors here. I want you to trust God that the forces and the yokes that stand between you and your destiny, you have to believe that they will live now. Are we together? I want you to believe God. There are people already receiving their deliverances and miracles. I want to pray for you now. My heart is heavy because in this season and in this time, God wants to set people free. Some of you may not know the causes of the situations, the challenges, the things you go through. You have prayed, you have fasted. God has brought you here tonight and he will give you a dramatic miracle. Are we together now? Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Jesus, the presence of God is Listen, I want to pray for you. I see a writing. I just see a writing in the realm of the spirit and I see great breakthrough. This is what I see. Great breakthrough. There is a grace that is coming on people now. The Lord is starting off with us tonight bringing strange breakthrough to people. I want to pray now at the count of three in the name that is above all names. I decree and declare in the name of the Lord God whose I am right now at the count of three i release that grace i command every devil standing on the way to anyone's breakthrough i command that you leave right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus one two three go now go now bring them out inside and outside Sogeteba 
Malakata. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, my God. I still see these breakthroughs. I'm seeing doors opening in the realm of the spirit. Listen, I'm seeing at least 17 people. 17 people I'm going to pray and the power of God will come upon you. Strange doors opening right now in the name of Jesus. I declare by the count of three. One, two, three. Open now. Open now. I command it. I declare it now. Now, open doors by the Spirit of God. Open doors, open doors. Sato Seketa. My God, doors opening over lives, opening over destinies, opening by the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. and pray the Lord is showing me people here with strange delays you love God but strange delays I'm seeing like arrows in the spirit and this is not from darkness it will come upon you once it comes upon you know that that delay will end right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands as I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, where are they? Men and women who have been delayed strangely. Right now, right now, right now, I command that light and power, that light and power, ending delays now. Mighty in this place, mighty in this place, you are mighty in this place, mighty in this place. You are mighty in our I'm seeing something strange in the spirit coming upon sisters. I'm seeing a strange grace for speed. Just sisters, sisters, I'm seeing this. And the Lord is asking me to prophesy it. As soon as I prophesy it, there is a strange unction coming on ladies for strange speed. I see this in the realm of the spirit. Now, Lord, I place the word of God upon this prophecy. And I declare, ladies, step into speed now. Supernatural speed. Shepreketata. Run like Elijah. I command it. I decree it. In the name of Jesus. Strength speed. Strength speed. Strength speed. It's coming on you now. Like the dew of heaven. Coming on you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes to a vision now, and I'm seeing keys being given to people. Keys, listen, keys. It will come on you like fire. I see keys. These keys are solutions and strategies. Solutions and strategies. 
solutions and strategies you will help me shout that name jesus again i see keys being handed over to people according to the grace and mercy of god now lord i pray that even as you have shown me whoever should be a recipient of this spiritual blessing i decree and declare that it will come upon their lives now are you ready at the count of three get ready now my god my god my god one two for you but let me just do what the Lord is asking me to do I've told you many of you wonder when you see me do this particular thing where I just mention a state and the Lord begins to touch people from that state it's a sign and wonder you see these things they are operations of the spirit because the Lord is opening my eyes right now I'm seeing a map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God on south 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 that entire region now now, all those who come from that region, South South, South South, a miracle. Now, but don't shake it. Let bread be get to Sumata, Lakata, Braskata, Bashikate. In the name of the Lord Jesus, South South, the Spirit of the Lord brings breakthrough to men and women. You can't stand it. Breakthrough. Every hand in delay from the South South. I see the hand of God strong upon men and women strong upon men and women ending captivities by the spirit of the living God hallelujah there is somebody in overflow too you are holding a picture you are holding photos please come overflow too by the roadside let the person come let the person come quickly you are holding a picture the Lord is showing me someone please let let that person whoever he is or she is please quickly you are holding a picture run come you are wearing like blue uh, is it blue or black now who is that Come. Holy, holy. Don't worry, Mama. I'm going to pray for you. Where is your daughter, Ma? No mic. I'm looking at you. Hold on. Is this her? Yes, I'm looking at you, and the Holy Spirit is taking me, and I'm in Kano. Where is she? She's at Kano. Where is she? That's what I'm saying. She's at Kano. And the Lord, why, why, why are you holding her picture? Have, uh, up to now she have let that get married uh -uh. and this, this day is, she's sick this is what I'm saying this is what God wants to destroy because I'm seeing her in Kano and you are standing in for her yes. I'm supposed to pray for those outside but I saw this and the Lord is saying I should minister to you go and tell her that the Lord brings her life this sickness is over <laughs> hallelujah sir where are you coming from? Mina, Niger State. Niger State. Thank the Lord because your car would have had an accident on the way coming. And the Lord has brought you deliverance. Is this your family? Yes, sir. This is your family. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four. How many children? Four children. Have you stopped giving birth? Do you think this is all? 
I'm looking in a vision and I'm seeing one more, a baby girl. Yes. After this, yes. hold my hand, sir. But the Lord is going to, I'm seeing you have serious problem with finances. Very serious. You are not a lazy man. Even you, you cannot explain how you got into this kind of trouble. But I want to pray for you because the Lord is saying I should release you from this. Hold my hand, sir. I bring you life in the name of Jesus Christ. You will go back and return with a strange, this man's life will change like day and night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, please come. I don't know this woman, but I'm asked to pray for you. I look at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing two hands like this. You are a woman of prayer. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Look at me, ma. You love God sincerely, but many things are going around. They are scattered in your life. And you have been asking, can God come? Can God step in? Even when you were there, you were praying that prayer. I heard you praying and the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's giving you rest today. He's giving you supernatural rest. Madam, please stand up. Please stand up, ma'am. Please stand up. Where are you coming from, madam? It's from Sabongari. You are coming. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, your life will turn around and that of your family. This is by the Spirit of God, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Have I prayed for you, darling? Come. In the name of Jesus, I end captivity from your life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I end captivity. Don't worry. I mustn't speak to you. As I lay my hands on you, I want to believe there's someone you are outside your baby is sick run with the person and come now you are outside your baby is sick run with the person and come now that is sir can i pray for you sir i'm going to pray for you and the lord is going to give you peace and the lord is going to raise people to help you now sincerely speaking i want to be honest with you it is not within my power to stop you from getting married i we generally can only advise because you see let me teach you something especially as a pastor there are people who are following us from 45 nations of the world and when you are ministering sensitive things like this um they are listening and every territory has laws are we together now things are a bit flexible in nigeria but if i were in america and i'm talking to this man like this and saying don't marry another wife the son can go and sue me or the ministry so this is the reason why it's not maybe lack of faith. Are we together, sir? It is not within my power and I have no right to judge you. I can only declare the counsel of God and pray for you. Um, this is very important. When you are speaking to people, although by the spirit, it is important to be wise in your communication so that you do not say things that will bring you serious problem. Mama, you are praying and you are still telling God there is one more thing you want to tell me. I'm hearing your prayers. Come. What is it? Give her the mic. Is that true? You are standing there and you are praying and you are saying you wish that I can call you again. There is one more issue. What is the issue? Marriage and my daughter's. Your daughter's marriage. Uh, ma Mama, let's, let's pray. If that is the issue. I don't have I can wait the house like this. It's just You are a good woman. I want to pray for your daughters and God said that's not what you need. Hold it. What you need is destiny help us. Mama, as I'm looking at you now, they are about to throw you out of the house because your rent has expired. Give her the mic. Is that true? Yes. Sir. You need somebody to help you. Yes. Sir. Seriously. Yes, if not, a time will come. Even what to eat will become an issue. The Lord said I should tell you forget this issue of marriage. Hmm? The major issue is the ministry of destiny help us Amen. lord send people Amen. you see we must pray that god will grant us grace so that we can help our mothers it's a terrible thing for a woman at this age to be praying as if she never had a child as if she never trained anybody that's why we cause the spirit of delay that makes people to be established very late now, according to scripture, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. But sadly, being as the situation is, we must be able to turn back and be a blessing to these our loved ones. A woman like this at her age should not be going around trying to look for food to eat again. I pray that your loved ones will not look for food to eat. That God himself will empower you and establish you and send you help. 
mama don't cry in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit the lord will help you by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus see me after the service madam in jesus name thank you i pray for you sir in the name of jesus may the lord change your life change your situation right now in the name of jesus you are the one with the child please come we are going to pray for the sick now very quickly what's wrong with him he's running temperature this evening just this evening yes sir but he has been having persistent cough, cough. cough. let's pray for him lord jesus i pray for this your dear son by the anointing of the holy spirit i decree and declare that this boy be made whole right now and for you his mother i command that everything the devil wants to put in your stomach let it leave you right now in the name of jesus christ i pray please why are they here mama come please stand up the lord is visiting you the lord is saying i should tell you he's taking away reproach and pain amen, amen, from your life amen. this is what he's saying please stand up please stand up man that he's rolling away reproach you see as god speaks to one person he's only using one person as a point of contact to speak to everyone it doesn't mean that we have to call you the time will not let that happen are we together now for instance madam are you from kaduna who is from kaduna uh -uh, uh -uh, not just a person a woman there is a mama from kaduna that i want to speak to now this is a young lady now I, I, a, a mama like elderly woman there's a woman who came here from kaduna not a young lady please i, I want to just speak to that person very quickly mommy look at me you have gone through so much pain the lord is saying i should tell you it's your children that will wipe your tears it's your children that will wipe your tears may the lord raise them and may they wipe your tears i pray for you in jesus name why is she here you are the deeper life um, lady you are you are a member of deeper life are you sure hold my hands lord jesus i pray that you do a miracle in her life right now Put your hand on your stomach. God is taking something away from your stomach now. I curse it. Something is leaving you now as I hold your hands. You are even surprised. Even you, you would not have known that there's something there. I'm seeing like a malignant growth. Something that will later develop to a fibroid. I curse it by the God of heaven right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be over now in Jesus name. Come my brother. You are James. I will pray for all of you, but you love Jesus. You love Jesus. I have to pray for you. Come. What's your name? Your name is James. Do you love Jesus? I prayed for one boy, one miracle service. Very bad friends. And I'm still seeing it again. I don't know where that guy is. And the Lord is asking that we pray for him again. You see, all these gentlemen, you have to be careful. It's important for us to be serious with God so that you don't land yourself in the police station. Hold my hands. I pray for you. The Lord is bringing restoration to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural restoration. Sir, I pray for you. You will not, I don't know what is making. I'm seeing a thermometer up and down your chest. And the Lord is saying I should rebuke anything that has to do with your blood pressure. In Jesus' name, I command that it leaves you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for all of you. Come, sir. Let me just make contact with you very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hasana. Hasana. We are going to pray for the sick now. We have to be very fast. Hasana. Hasana. I'm seeing someone with the name Hasana. Is there someone like that? Please, very quickly. Hasana. Whether you are inside, outside. Hasana from Kogi State. Hasana. Are you not Sado's sister? Is your name Hasana? You are sure? Look at me. The Lord is bringing restoration. Restoration. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands on you. In the name of Jesus. May you be a benefactor of the mercy of God. The mercy of the living God. 
mercy of the living God. The mercy of the living God. The mercy. Yes, it's all right if your names are Hassanah. The mercy of the living God. Your name too? Your name is Hassanah. interested in what I'm saying. Hold my hands, my dear. The Lord is bringing breakthrough to your family. There is a spirit that oppresses you and it must leave you now. Go! Now! In the name of Jesus, I curse you by the God of heaven. Let her go. Never to return. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's afraid already. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. The light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. This lady, you see, she's smiling. But there is a serious case. There is a very mad, wild spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a reason why I ask her to hold my hands. This lady has been tormented and oppressed in a way that you cannot imagine. Now I command that spirit. This is koinonia. I curse you by the God of heaven. Be gone now. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you would see a gentle lady like this and she would not know what is responsible for her life. This doesn't mean she's a devil. It doesn't mean she's possessed. No. It's just the advantage that Satan takes over the lives of people. I command in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you what is wrong with this lady is not a little issue. This thing doesn't show on the face. So you just see people smiling. But they are victims of a lot of things. Let me pray for you, my dear. Come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you life now. Life, come. The devil wants to bring pain to your life. Hold my hands. I command it to come to an end now. Pain, repeated cycles of tragedies. I curse it by the God of heaven. An anointing is coming upon you and the Lord himself is giving you a supernatural miracle right now. There are three ladies. I just heard the cry of children. And there are three ladies. You are standing in for your families now. As I'm speaking, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is going to come upon them. Standing in for their families. Standing in for their families standing in for their families let the oppression in your family end now this girl's family has gone through all kinds of things this is koinonia i bring you the life and power that is in the name of jesus now this is what we're going to do please listen very carefully um you know that we take out time to minister more specifically to people i wish that we had all the time but we have to work with time and um we are going to pray for the sick now. Please listen. Whether you are inside or outside, if you are trusting God, listen please. Whether you are inside or outside, aside from these particular cases, if you are trusting God for fruitfulness for your loved one or any other person, whether you are inside or outside, please don't come in at random. I want you to come in. I want to minister to you myself. Aside from that, now we are going to pray for the sick. Overflow 1, please all of you should walk to the front of your projector. You will be ministered to. Overflow 2 and the ones extension of overflow 4, please walk to the projector stand outside. Overflow 3, walk to your projector stand outside. Very quickly and those inside here, I want you to just walk out to me very quickly. We are going to minister to people in that order. There are so many people it has pleased the lord to make this place a place of supernatural miracles please it, it doesn't matter where you stand if you are outside don't come in just move to your projector outside hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord we're going to minister to you now it'll be very fast whilst we're doing that please your prayer request if you've not written your prayer request or that of your loved ones, those online you're yet to write, do that quickly so that the ushers can follow and then we'll do that very quickly. Every other thing from here will now be the prophetic declarations. There are so many people inside and outside. We are going to pray for the sick.
the Lord has given us the grace, He's given us the capacity. There are people going through all kinds of things, and um, in as much as we teach you how to live in health and wholeness, we cannot allow the devil buffet you. Some of you are standing in for your loved ones, some of you are standing here with incurable diseases, HIV. You've heard the testimonies. There is nothing that has not been healed in this house, sir. The Lord is going to heal you, you will not die. That virus will not kill you. You hear what I'm saying? I don't mean to embarrass you. I hope you are not embarrassed. Because I look at you. If I don't pray for you, I'm saying very soon, this thing will eat you up. I don't have to say more than that. But you know what I'm talking about. There is no virus. There is no situation that has not been healed in this place. And you know, we don't announce miracles if they are not medically verified. So that it doesn't look like people are just faking things. So believe the Lord, especially if you are here for the first time it doesn't matter who ministers to you i just want you to believe there is a corporate grace that is at work here to minister and bring miracles to people we'll be very fast please those outside you'll be very fast uh pastor jimmy let's see um you handle overflow one outside um pastor alpha overflow two um pastor femi let's see pastor femi and promise go to overflow three mike you walk with a jimmy outside there and then um, have i told you where to go to okay so we'll would go in that order i'm sure that i may just walk alone here there are a number of people who are not here we give those opportunities because it's also an opportunity to train and build people please quickly let's go father we agree that the corporate grace you have released upon this house and this family for miracles let it be released regardless of who ministers we minister in the name of jesus we bring that name that is above all names over every situation let your anointing speak this is the moment oh god where you cure the incurable this is the moment where you step into the lives of people let it be a quick walk let everyone here return with testimonies in jesus name i'm going to begin to minister to you but there's one person here the anointing of the spirit will come upon you so strongly that will be the signal of the grace to minister here right now this is the, don't don't mind me i do all my crazy things um let's just walk by the spirit someone here in front the anointing of the spirit will come on you in such a mighty way the moment that happens then i begin to pray for the sick now thank you jesus for your mighty power that's the person down there so i can pray for you now bless you father thank you all right guys let's give god the very best please you can sit down you can sit down while you are sitting let's be praying because as soon as i'm done praying for the sick we'll address other issues very quickly so that we can finish on time the lord bless you in jesus name Please help them, whether you are Osha or not. New levels. There are people God is fishing out here. New dimensions. Shebros kaparu shabradi salad. Shebros katabrandega deko shalabradi asha. Engreto susa brigatia. It's a call to your spirit man. It's a call to your spirit man. This is not for everybody. It's a call to your spirit man. If it's your call, you will hear it. 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 You must hear it. If it's your call, you will hear it. Your spirit will pick the signals of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The spirit of prophecy is upon that man. Who can stand against the Lord? No one. No one. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one can. Oh. 
listen praying on the request is not a ritual it's not a ritual no but listen brothers and sisters we bring this prayer request before the God of heaven representing the pain of people representing the mockery of darkness and you've seen all sorts of miracles that has come from here and we're going to pray now the Lord is asking me to take off my shoes we're going to pray right now please I want you to participate I take time to explain this so that we all understand um, I may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but this is a representation of the cry and the request of people the other people are ministering to those outside don't worry those outside if they are still ministering to you just hang on those who um, have been ministered to already please just follow your screen can we stretch our hands in one minute and I'd like you to just pray in the spirit pray in the spirit to the God of heaven who answers prayers Jesus Jesus the son of the living God Zebra Kato Salabranda Gadabash Mali Brando Zebra Gadash. Now arise, O Lord, come to your resting place. Brood upon these requests. Let there be mighty, mighty, mighty miracles. Mighty miracles. Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every request here represented tonight is turned into a testimony it's turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus the son of the living God every request here no matter how impossible is turned into strange and speedy testimonies in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that for every request you have written here and all the ones online I release my faith and in the name of Jesus I declare let this be the last time you will submit this request the last time you will submit this request let this be the last time you will submit this request unto him that answers prayers the one who has beckoned on us to approach his throne without fear to approach with boldness and confidence we decree and declare in the name of jesus most high the son of the living god every request here i say again is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus turned into a testimony by the power of the Holy Spirit turned into a testimony by the power of the Holy Spirit turned into a testimony hallelujah this is the last phase of the meeting I want to pray and prophesy upon your life it will never tire me to say this 
in my opinion the greatest part of this service is what is about to happen now because believers are used to charismatism falling down rolling and so on and so forth we many times downplay the place of prophecy prophecy is very powerful and i've taught us that there are two dimensions to the operation of the prophetic there is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic that god allows by his spirit to bring comfort to bring access to light and information that works hand in hand with the gift of the word of knowledge but the greater and more superior dimension of the prophetic is the creative dimension of prophecy where the word of god makes realities that have no business happening to happen the word creates a scene and adds it to the pages of your life so that something you had no business walking in you will all of a sudden find yourself walking in it and remember i told us the last discussion before we began to pray that one of the greatest reasons why people are limited is because of inadequate dimension of the anointing so alongside this prayer i'm going to be praying a prayer of impartation there are people th this thing is not just for showmanship listen if you know god and you love him and you see the needs of people you will covet the unction and the grace of god this has nothing to do with showmanship when people begin to make showmanship out of it is is inaccurately used hallelujah let's correct things now let's recreate things now Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Oh, come, oh, come, me, man, and run some captivities. Why, yeah. Oh, come, oh, come, me, man, and run some captivities. Rejoice, rejoice, for Emmanuel has come to us, his Israel, in the name that is above all names. I decree and declare right now every door that has been closed over anyone here in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I command that door be open now be open now be open now The Bible says, have you heard of this saying that a city gives birth in one day? But it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says, she shall give birth to son. I decree and declare, whatever you have been incubating for a long time, revealed to you by the spirit, but yet to manifest, there is grace for performance. And I command that you must have a manifestation now. I decree it. I declare it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Manifested blessings, manifested miracles. Hallelujah. I decree and declare where you have to struggle for everything, labor for everything, I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings. I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who has despised the grace of God upon your life. He said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I prophesy to you, may an unction come upon your life tonight that will distinguish you. I decree it, I declare it. May an unction come upon your life tonight that distinguishes you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Elijah told Ahab, saddle your ass and run. For I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. And Ahab was already light years ahead 
of Elijah but the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and all of a sudden he started running on barefoot listen the Bible says that the disciples were six hours ahead of Jesus moving on their boat and Jesus got up and started walking on water there are many of you there are several things that have limited your pace I want to prophesy speed for you there is a grace that makes men to pursue to overtake to recover I speak to you in the name of Jesus as I pray for you the anointing of God will come on some of you and you will want to run physically please hold them I release that grace that grace for speed receive that grace now no delay I command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Isaiah 6 it says arise shine for your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you it says for darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people it says but upon you the glory of the Lord shall arise verse 3 says Gentiles you won't look for them again Gentiles shall come to your light and even their arrogant kings to the brightness of your rising it says where you have been deserted so that no man passes through you I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations I decree and declare from today every gift you have every dream every ability that is dormant and not being blessed and rewarded I command Gentiles to come to your light now. I command Gentiles to come to your light, to come to your business, to come to your profession, to come to your ministry. I make it so by the Spirit of the Living God. hallelujah and David said is there any man of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness and they went to bring a crippled man called Mephibosheth and when he came he sat down with David and he says you will continue to dine with me here in the name of Jesus where your strength cannot take you Satoshka Pratikata where your current level of achievement cannot take you I decree and declare may the hand of God that picks a man from a dunghill to a place of prominence may that hand pick you to the next level of your life may that hand pick you to the next level of your life hallelujah it says and I will restore to you the years alas master for it was borrowed they borrowed an axe head and it fell double trouble and he said no don't worry where fell it I want to speak to people here who have lost things you have lost relationships you have lost money you have lost opportunities there is a system in the kingdom where they can call back things he said they are taken for a prey and none say it restore in the name of Jesus by the name of he who can manipulate time and make yesterday become tomorrow and tomorrow become yesterday I command a restoration now I command a restoration now I command me anyone here called jobless you are looking for a job or any of your loved ones in the parable that Jesus gave he saw some people sitting idle he said why sitest thou idle he said no man employ us and he said go to the vineyard when he speaks there is always a job in the name of Jesus I create a space for you now in the name of the Lord Jesus I create a space for you now I speak anyone here or anyone standing for any family that has had delay especially in the area of fruitfulness 
he said be fruitful the first command he gave man right now in the name of jesus hear me mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man he didn't say joseph will come he said the power of the highest shall overshadow you therefore i prophesy everything that represents unfruitfulness it dies now in the name of jesus it dies now in the name of jesus i speak to everyone God's body. carry your children now carry your children now every aspect of your life that represents barrenness be it in the works of your hands be it in your finances in the name of jesus the son of the living god i command supernatural results supernatural results supernatural results i pray for those who wrote jam and didn't like their results i change the result now i change the results now i change the results now hallelujah every family here that has refused to move forward i don't care for what reason in the name that is above all names your accomplishment for the next one month will dwarf what you have done in the last five years in the name of jesus believe it help them please believe it in the name of jesus hallelujah this is one of my favorite blessings to people the ministry of destiny help us i discovered brothers and sisters hear me that it always flows from god through men everything money can buy relationships can buy it there are needless battles needless battles that relationships can solve the distance between you and the next testimony may just be a relationship but you see no destiny helper comes by his by himself they are called they are called they never come by themselves they do not even know he says the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon in the name of jesus whoever must speak for you in high places in this season whoever must endorse the testimony of god upon your life as a man of god as a businessman whoever must advocate for you where your voice cannot reach i prophesy to the north i prophesy to the south i prophesy to the east and west wherever your destiny helpers are i command them to come into your life now hallelujah listen i know a woman years ago when we held our crusade in 2009 in abuja it was her camp that we used she's not even educated but she had access to two people a very wealthy family that needed a miracle and she prayed for them and they became destiny helpers let me tell you something the easiest way to be wealthy is through relationships somebody can get up by the spirit and make you a partaker of his blessings are we together now we've discussed on finances and all the principles but brothers and sisters there is a dimension of speed that god can give a man and this is to help you be established fast so that you can focus on the purposes of the kingdom there is this spirit that makes people to be established so late it's not that they are lazy you cannot be established over 100,000 per month. Believe me. You cannot be established over 50,000 per month. You are too generous to even keep that money. And whilst you give, God will orchestrate men, but we have learned that Satan can hinder them. And pray specifically for finances. I want to invoke the mystery of divine supply. There is such a reality like supernatural provision. This ministry is a, is a tearsome testimony of what happens when men covenant with themselves to make sure you rise he said men came to david in the cave of adulam entered a covenant with themselves that they must make him king you don't need plenty of people you just need one person anointed and directed wherever your financial helper is 
in the name that is above all names i declare that between now and the next two weeks of june may they appear in your life may they appear in your life may they appear in your life hallelujah every dying business here every dying career every dying ministry that is as though you are not called i give life to that which is dying now i give life to that which is dying now hallelujah father it is my prayer from my heart for your people that by miracle service june you will return here 10 times better literally 10 times better hallelujah please lift your hands i want to release something there are people here you love god i gave you an example of this anointing there needs to be an upgrade you see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that the anointing is a very obvious quality of god it's not something you struggle to see there are many of us especially pastors we are trusting God for certain dimensions of grace. It can manifest as anything. Wisdom, strategies, supernatural grace, the grace for performance. I want to pray for you. Activations are very necessary to drive people into great results. I stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, every dimension of the anointing that is available in this house every dimension from prophetic dimensions Jabo Sikata there are people receiving it now there are others is being activated others is being multiplied in the name of Jesus I open you up now strange levels of the prophetic strange levels the eyes that see and the ears that hear the impulses of the spirit I pray right now the manifestation of the spirit of revelation receive it right now revelation inside 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 take it now take it now revelation revelation into the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah every operation of the gift of the spirit that is barren in your life are needed for your destiny I stretch my hands and I activate it now receive it right now I activate it now I activate it now I activate it now by the power of the Holy Spirit I release upon you right now fresh mantle for leadership supernatural dimension of the leadership grace let it come upon you you may be weak but it will distinguish you in the name of Jesus Christ but thou shall remember the Lord thy God it is he that giveth thee power brothers and sisters there is such a thing called the power the anointing the unction the capacity to create an atmosphere around you that attracts wealth I don't know how many people it will please the Lord to release this grace but I stretch my hands let it please the God of heaven to bring men into this dimension right now receive it now the power to prosper the power to prosper you may be weak but the power to prosper bring in favor the ministry of men into your life hallelujah I don't know what has brought your prayer life down but right now in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar capacity to pray in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hear me whoever fights you goes down instantly I say it again whoever fights you whether in the secret or the open goes down instantly It says you shall call 
on Aaron and his sons. He said, and you shall take your honor and give him. Honor is a mantle. It's transferable. Let me tell you, this thing called honor is not about accomplishment. There is a grace that makes people distinguished. I pray for you from today. That grace for honor, I release it upon your life. May you be honored at the gates of your destiny. May you be strangely honored at the gates of your destiny. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to move forward, tonight may their prayers be answered. Yes. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and we're done. I pray for your family. We believe in family in this place. No matter how lifted you are, if your family is not lifted, he said, as for me and my house, we believe in family. We pray for our children, whether in the womb or born. We pray. I prophesy over every family here that the devil is trying to corrupt the testimony of God's faithfulness. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, supernatural lifting for every family. 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 And finally, I pray for you. In a way you have never seen, whoever looks at your face, I compel them to favor you. Listen, the Bible says, Esther found favor on everyone that looked at her. For as long as you made contact with Esther and you looked at her face, you were compelled by an anointing. Believe me, I have seen this thing work in my life. I prophesy to you, men who have no business blessing you as they look at you, I compel it from their spirit. May they bless and favor you. May they bless and favor you. May they bless and favor you. Thank you for lifting. 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 We're rounding up, but the Lord is giving me a word here. The Lord is speaking to a family here and he's saying I should tell you it will be like a dream when in three weeks it will change your life. It will be like a dream. 21 days in three weeks he will change your life. Whoever this is for I release it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is also speaking to one person. You are going to start a business next month on the 5th and I'm seeing before 31st, it has made you a millionaire. In the name of Jesus. I'm not motivating you. I'm speaking as the Spirit is giving me unction. You don't believe it, you will never see it. Never, ever see it. Every difficulty you came here with, in the name of Jesus, you leave it down here and walk back free. In the name of Jesus. Quickly, in one minute, everyone still standing. I want to make two altar calls now, very quickly. The first, please keep standing, everybody. No moving around, inside, outside, please. There are people here, men and women, who you have seen the things that the Lord has done by His Spirit. Please, let's keep standing to honor them. And whilst you watch the power of God move, the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need to belong to this family of faith, the family of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are saying, man of God, if you will pray for me, I'm ready to completely surrender my heart to Jesus. I don't care how many times you have come out in response to an altar call. The second category of people who will join them are those who at one time you have made commitments for the Lord Jesus Christ, but you have found yourself derailing in many ways and you're saying, man of God, if you will lead me, I will run. I will run. Run to Jesus now these two categories of people i know there are people outside overflow one two three wherever you are please our time is gone i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain i'm going to count five 
wherever you are leave your seat and run now please clear the way for them one quickly quickly let's honor them as they come quickly run to jesus now please quickly inside outside young and old quickly quickly i have decided to follow jesus no turning back run to jesus no turning keep coming don't sit back there now look at me brothers and sisters I appreciate you for this great decision you have made the Bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away when you come to him he has the power to make you you have no ability to change yourself but you have the willingness to hand over your life I want to pray for you listen I don't want you to just recite this as a poem I want you to mean it from the depth of your heart standing before Jesus the firstborn among we the begotten and his holy church I want you to make this confession from the depth of your heart lift your right hand as a symbol of surrender and say after me Lord Jesus say it again Lord Jesus I believe in you that you died for me you shed your blood for me you rose again for me tonight I willingly receive your life into my spirit I declare with my mouth the Lord Jesus and I confess with my heart that God raised him from the dead I declare right now that eternal life is mine I receive it into my spirit I'm free from the power of sin the flesh and Satan from today I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted I pray for you spirit of the living God you represent the presence of Jesus now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying in a very supernatural way spirit of the living God by the power of the Holy Spirit let these ones never be the same again in the name of Jesus Christ may they never be the same again I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that their lives will be objects of praise in the name of Jesus I declare your sins forgiven I declare a new life for you I break away from you every influence of darkness capable of jeopardizing the quality of God's life in you I release you to be victorious I make you victorious by the power that is in the name of Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord thank you for this great decision now I want you to follow the lady waving her hands they would um, lead you outside have a few details and then um, just communicate a few things to you please cooperate with them the Lord bless you I love you and congratulations very quickly please guide them guide them very quickly let's do this as fast as we can hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed 
and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you